<laughs> what? <laughs> Look who decide to unmute his mic. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. I was I was I was so Well, by the way, something happened, by the way. What? Nothing, nothing ever happened. <laughs> I no, but I legit What do you mean? <laughs> I legit um was like, all right, I'm I'm running late, but not late. Like like I'm still gonna be on time. I'm just running late for me. All right, I still have time to take a piss. I'm gonna take a quick piss. I take a piss, I'm coming down, I'm like, all right, cool, I'm logging it. Or no no no. All right, cool. I'm opening OBS. I'm opening Discord, and Discord has to update itself. And I'm just <laughs> waiting for an update. I don't care about because I don't even use it to the full potential. I was, oh my god. I hate that. I hate Discord. I hate Discord so. Much. I hate updates. <laughs> like the, the the shit works fine, dude. Why do I gotta fucking? I know. I got an update every other day. I got an update on my uh, phone that I gotta do. Or oh. and I'm just like I don't my know. phone's been asking me for weeks. <laughs> Every time it's like, want to do this at like 2 a.m. when you're asleep? I'm like, no. Yeah. I'll tell you when I want to update it. <laughs> I'm on like day one or two of my uh, phone being like, hey, so that update. I'm like, I'm alright. <laughs> I, yeah. I think I could survive without this. <laughs> yeah, it's been working fine. But thanks for asking. This is yeah. Unreal. With the, I was on the highway today and uh. Like coming back home, and it, and it was like stopped in traffic for like twenty minutes. I was like, oh boy. Oh, just kill me now. I was like, for some reason, I thought we were doing this at six because mm-hmm. I'm I'm fucking retarded. I you and know I just what need I to start thought, like reading times better. I thought we were doing it at six fifteen, and I'm like, why yeah. the fuck did I say six fifteen? So like, regardless, I wouldn't have been late, but like, still, I'm like, oh, this is all that needs to happen. Yeah. And now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do tonight for Cinco. A lot of my friends, like, some of them aren't even in the same state right now. They're fucking traveling. Uh, just go to a bar, dude. Go to a Mexican bar. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about I'll just go to a Mexican bar and just have a sad yingling and then go home. <laughs> <laughs> you and these yinglings, dude. What the fuck is that? I like yingling on tap. It's a beer? Yeah. Sounds a little uh, fruity. No, it's just a fucking regular lager. A yingling is Asian. Uh no, I think it's American. Oh, maybe I'll have a uh, a Mexican beer like a yeah, a, like a Corona, a Corona or Modelo or, or Dos Equis. Uh, I like all those. Uh I don't want a Corona. Why? Ain't- uh, cause I feel like I I would rather drink that in the summer. I know, just in the hot sun, dude. And Modelo's kind of mid, 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 mid. I've actually never had it. I don't think, but uh, Dos Equis I like. Mid, 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 mid. Yeah, Dos Equis is good. I like Dos Equis. It smells like a fart, but if you get past that, <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> they all smell like farts. It's, yeah, and it smells like a Mexican <laughs> fart. Like, <laughs> like Dusu was like, hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me find in your face. Oh, that it, that better be like below freezing temperature. If it's like a degree above <laughs> freezing, <laughs> it's like the stinkiest. Do you want this thirty-five degree Dos Equis? It's like, nah, man. <laughs> also, can you open a window? It smells like <laughs> shit in here. <laughs> oh, like fucking Cheetos. Yeah, <laughs> it smells like Cheetos and Cheech and Chong. <laughs> I hadn't had Cheetos for like years and I like opened a bag like last year and it like dude it stunk. I was like, this shit smells like fucking ass. When I used to work at a car wash, man, I used to vacuum cars and <laughs> anyone who came it was like the ones where like they, they put the car aside and then we would drive it on the track and vacuum them. So like any time I had to get in a car and someone had like McDonald's or whatever, it smelled like someone took a dump in their car. Uh-huh. <laughs> like it's so weird because like when you were going to get fast food and then you had it in the car, you're like, oh, this smells so good. I want to eat that. But if you're like going into someone's car with <laughs> yeah. not that mindset, you're like, this smells like shit. Yeah, if you smell someone else's fast food. <laughs> it smells like shit, dude. It smells terrible. <laughs> Uh, Especially McDonald's. McDonald's was like the number one. Like, oh, this smells like straight ass. Oh yeah, McDonald's has that smell, dude. It has that fucking ass smell. Even if, if you get it, you know. That's why I, I you know, I can't. McDonald's is fucking disgusting, dude. I I try hard to like give people who are unhealthy the benefit of the doubt, but it's like, no. dude, 
Like, no. y- you have to become an adult at one point. Like, you th- do- yes. use common sense. You really think this is okay? You think you, this is why okay? Why are still acting like you're a teenager? <laughs> it's not. It smells like shit. <laughs> it, it, like, it, it's high octane. Like, it, how about this? Like, just, like, learn at one point in your 20s that anything that tastes good is probably not good for you. Yeah. And then go from uh, there. I, you know... You know what fast food smell I absolutely like though is Burger King. It's had oh, the same smell for because it's got that flame royal whopper. Whatever they spray on it <laughs> to make it like taste like it was actually char grilled. Yeah, it's it smells so good. But the thing is, if if, if I've left that bag in my uh, truck overnight, it smells like the second you get in the car, <laughs> it's like the strongest smell still. It's like, dude. You could fumigate an apartment with that fucking shit. It's like they threw a skunk in the sun. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, dude. Leaving fast food in the car is just... It's like you got to open the windows for like a day and a half. Oh, my God. Whatever asbestos they fucking put on that burger. And then if you like... Oh, my God. It's so crazy eating fries from a fast food place after they cool down. Oh, dude, like, I just did it. What a metamorph... That's like when, like, the orange Pikachu became regular Pikachu again. <laughs> it's just, like... It's such a, like, a de-evolution of a Dude, I potato. got Chick-fil-A on the way home. Ooh. I, I ate it while it was fresh on the Which, way wait, home. Wait, what you get? What you get? What you get? Well, you know, I can't have gluten, so I had to get fucking grilled nuggets. <laughs> what are we doing here? Which what are just, we doing It's here? just dirty chicken. Yeah, you cut just, up and, throw it. and some dish soap water. Like, what are you I swear, doing? I swear, Whitey, it's it's disgusting. The chicken Why'd is dirty. Why do you eat it? Because it's, it's protein, brother. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm hungry. And oh it's like, God. I'm not going to just get fries. I'm not going to get waffle fries and then walk out with, like, I, okay, I'll tell you something really sad I go after there you're done with fries. your story. <laughs> I go there for the fries, but I'm getting chicken, too. So I ate, like, half of them on the way home. I come home. I shower. I come out of the shower. <laughs> I go to eat the other half, and they're just cold, disgusting <laughs> waffle fries. <laughs> they lose, like you said, they lose all the magic, all the illusion. Like, oh, this is just, like, gross fucking french fries. Dude, <laughs> let me tell you. So, <laughs> last week, I-, I was, like, in a mood. I was just, like, all sad. I was like, oh, man, no one wants me. No one loves me. So, I fucking, it's, like, 8.30 at night, and I'm, like, I just had a cigar, and I whooped it down, so now I'm all lightheaded and woozy. I'm like, oh. So, I'm, like, I'm, in, I'm still on my window, like, in my, like, because I'm doing that intermittent fasting. So mm. I, I go to Burger King, and <laughs> oh boy. I go, hey, how's it going? Like, yeah, how's it going? I was like, can I um, can I get an Oreo milkshake? He's like, the shake machine's down. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that old, that old guy. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Um, it's like, you know I have the internet, right? Yeah. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm like, all right, um, shit. So then I'm looking at the menu, and I'm like, can I get a uh, Hershey pie? He's like, no, we don't have any of those right now. <laughs> By the way, you're the only one there, right? Like in the drive-thru. I'm the only person yeah. in the drive-thru. It's like a semi-raining day. It's, it's... I've never seen anyone at a Burger King in the past two years. <laughs> Anytime the, I go, I'm the only one. I'm the only one keeping them afloat. <laughs> yeah. So, dude, dude I, I just go, you know, man, can I just get two large fries and a water? <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and he, like, there is a pause. We're pa- out of water. <laughs> there was a pause in between, and then, like, I heard him go, Two large fries and just the water? I'm like, yeah, just two large fries and all water. <laughs> He's like, I right, pull it around. And dude, dude, I get these two things of large fries, hoping I would like it would give me like some sense of life. Like the little grains of salt would hit my tongue. <laughs> I don't know if this guy like is the does not oh. add salt guy to the fries. <laughs> I would rather too much salt than not enough, dude. I, oh, my God. It was, I, w- like, was flat. I, I'm just, like, shoveling them in on the drive home, and they're not even that hot. They're, like, room temperature. Oh, they never are at Burger King. So, yeah, they are, there I am with a pull and spring and two things of oh already subpar fries because they're from Burger King. Now, what was the move you wanted to get, like... You want something sugary, so you were going for a shake or a moon pie. I was going to get a shake and some fries, and then I was like, maybe I'll get a water. You just but, didn't want a burger? But then, yeah. Well, no, I was like, maybe. And then I just got so sad with like all the no's I'm getting in life. And then from this guy, the fucking yeah. take out. <laughs> I'm like, just give me some fries, man. Give me an onion ring, I guess. 
Yeah, sneak in an onion ring for me. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know how they're still in business. I got to be honest with you. Uh, I, I like. Don't really... I, I love them, but like I'm in the minority because I'm. I, I've never seen that place packed. I'm definitely in the minority now. But dude, I was. Uh, I forget where I was today. I saw two KFCs, and I was. All, I almost like. Sh- I almost pulled over on the road. I was like, I almost yeah. actually went in. I was like, holy shit. KFC still exists. That's what I was like. I thought they were like done in this area. Yeah, there's like one Taco Bell slash KFC by me, but it's in like the ghetto. Uh, well, well, yeah. Uh, I th- <laughs> <laughs> like the like. There's no real ghetto on Cape, but like it's as close as you can get. You know. <laughs> Is, so do you, when you like look there, it's near the airport. <laughs> do you just see like these zombie opioid addicted oh. white people walking in? Yeah, it's. It's pretty. It's pretty colorful there. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> like, there's definitely white people, but like, there's definitely like, there's a lot of different types of people. You know, there's a lot of Spanish, a lot of black, a lot of Haitian. So it's the war. It's, it's the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 the ghetto. It's the fucking. But also, Chick Fil A is starting to annoy me. Oh, Why yeah. got to be? Why they gotta be so nice? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I hate to complain about a good thing, but like I'm starting to look around because I actually have to go in now. I got like racks on my truck, so I can't go through the drive through like a fucking retard. So I have to actually park and walk in the place, and it's a different vibe when you go into a Chick Fil A. Oh, they're they're very helpful. Yeah, you start looking around, dude. It's like what what's in the water here? <laughs> like, <what? laughs> oh yeah, dude. There's these weird smiles. There's got to be something going on in the background. It's, it's only like freshmen in high school working here, and they they're too happy. Well, I don't understand the thing that's uh, getting weird now. And they're not the only ones that do this, but like they're the majority that I've seen do this. What's with the fucking pulling up to the drive-through, and then there's like just a kid on their iPad taking your order. Yeah. Have you seen that? Oh, yeah. What I understand there must be some efficiency purpose for it, but what the fuck is it? I don't know, dude. I pulled around one time, and I was like, can I get ranch sauce and Chick-fil-A sauce at the window? And they're like, you got to pull around to the front. I was like, what do you mean? They're like, they got the sauces in the front, and I like pulled, and it was it was literally like a 12-year-old kid <laughs> with, like a, with a box of sauces. <laughs> it's just weird. Uh, cause I was when like, I'm, what is this? Is this legal? When I'm putting in my order, it's like, I don't want to, like, look at your fate like uh, this is a sin right now i'm ordering disgustingness <laughs> right now and i gotta look at your face like while can i do I it milkshake three sandwiches yeah fries. dude like can i get two spicy deluxes by the way who the f- how who gets fucking meals at fast food places why every time i go to a fast food place i have to say just the sandwich you know I, what i'm saying i get the meal what are you talking about you do with the fries Fuck and the, the drink what do you th- yeah I guess it's because I don't. I just drink water, so I always don't have smack your water. lips at me. It's I no, nah, because now that you say it, I guess it makes sense. If if most people drink the other shit besides water, I guess. But still, what, what, what am I supposed to do? Choke to death while I'm fucking eating this <laughs> thing? I mean, sometimes I'll get just the entree, but usually I'm such a fat ass. I'll get a meal, and then like as an appetite, like for chick-fil-a is a perfect example i'll get the number two deluxe which i think is the spicy chicken sandwich or just the number two where it doesn't have like that piece of lettuce and tomato on it Mm. and then i'll go can i get the uh the 12 piece nuggets just the entree right so that way i get uh the what do you get to drink uh not just there but any fast food. honestly well if it's chick-fil-a sometimes i'll just do a milkshake because i fucking love their milkshakes okay i would if i could yeah strawberry other Ooh. fast food places could be like a Dr Pepper with ice or just a regular Coke. Damn! So you drink you drink soda? Uh, if I'm yeah, man. I mean, if, listen. If I'm, it's if I'm at the fast food line, I'm all. <laughs> like, you get a, you're all stuttering. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I'm not trying to be a douche. No, what I'm trying to say is I'm like I'm not judging you. I'm just I'm asking. here. Like I'm in the fast food line. Like no one is innocent at this point. So yeah, like, no, no. Of like course. let's go. Might like, as well go. You know, give me an for eight a penny ball. for a pound. <laughs> yeah, like that's exactly it. I might as well go yeah. in for a pound. I'm a hundred percent like that. It's like all right, if I'm going in, I might as well just go all the way in. Yeah. It's a cheat day. It's a fucking cheat day. You know. Fucking crushing it. All right. So yeah, I guess I'm wrong on the the whole meal thing, but. I, like I never the get the meal. Yeah. 
What are you going to do? Then you got this wad. Then you got a cup. It's like still rolling around with a fucking invention from the 1800s. (laughs) (laughs) We haven't figured out bottles yet here. So I'm rolling around with a cup that's going to spill. Oh, my God. Those little things they give you to hold the cups if you get more Unreal. than one. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> those little, what, a paper mache fucking. <laughs> Some kid made in class. Yeah. Newspaper and paste. It's clearly like recycled toilet paper or something. It's like, <laughs> what is this? Smells weird. Yeah, dude. That fucking, st- you made that tweet. At Stop and Shop, they fucking are charging for bags. I'll never go again. Can you believe that? Yeah, yeah, Stop and Shop, ShopRite, they they all it's, charge for bags. And here's the thing. Just don't buy a bag. I, I have to buy a bag, because here's whoa, the thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean you have to buy a bag? Well, I could bring my, I, I'll bring my own, but I'm just, I'll go to, I'm going to a different brand now. Um, Wait, I'm confused. What do you, <laughs> you don't have to buy a bag, that means if you're bringing your own. I know, I know, but I didn't know that they just did this one day, so I went in, oh, and geez. I had a bunch of shit. I didn't have my own bag, and... uh. They already have paper bags, which is like, what are we doing? Why don't you just bring There's it no to handles. your car, put the groceries in your car, and when you get home, take a bag out of your place, and then go back to your car and put put them in the bag if you forgot the bag. No, because it's it's a full basket worth of shit. I can't carry it in my hands to my car. Like, no, no, it's a no. Lot no. Of shit. You, you take the cart to you take the cart. Oh, I don't to, use a cart. I use a basket. I'm not like a family of seven. I'm not using the card. Well, can't you? Couldn't you have asked them? Can I bring the basket to my car and dump all my shit and bring the basket back? I don't even. I want humans involved. In this <laughs> uh, were so you doing no. self check? Yeah, of course. Oh, and so they got you at the very end. Like, how many bags would you like to purchase? And it's ten cents. And to me, it's not about the money. I don't give a fuck. I'll buy bags all day. The thing of it is, they, they, <laughs> they hold the bags hostage behind you, some high schooler. No, they don't. So, Yes, so I had to type <laughs> in one bag, at- and then I had to walk up and ask for a bag like a fucking <laughs> convict. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You only had to get one bag? I only need one. One paper bag, I'll put I it all in. I feel like you could have figured this nope. out. Nope, nope, nope. I'm telling you, it's enough shit that I need the bag, but it's not enough shit that I need a cart. It's like in that in-between. It's like a, a single guy going. Wait, like, yeah, why didn't, why didn't you do this? When you're done checking out... When it said need a bag, just, you know, like power walk to where the carts are, go back to your thing and then just put them in the cart. And then, then you can push the cart to your car. You didn't think of that, did you? You're too in the mm-hmm. moment. Well, I was too, like, I was feeling you're like, I'll never yeah, you're be here again. <laughs> 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 are you never coming back? <laughs> well, yeah, I was like, first you Tell made your the kids about me. <laughs> First, you put a robot in here roaming around in my way, an extra thing in my way. Second, you fucking made self-checkout only like six registers when you should have made the whole store. <laughs> fucking third, you, you went to paper bags go over some environmental sh- bullshit because it's hard to hold. It rips. And third, you, you start holding the bags hostage. I'm out of here, dude. But The this- one I go to now has, has plastic bags still. It's like those thick plastic bags. Oh, really? Too. Oh, yeah. We're not allowed to have plastic I bags. I don't now. know if I should say the brand because I don't know if it's like super local docs myself or. We have to. No, we they got rid of all plastic bags here. So I I have to admit. Same. I'm, yeah. I'm one of the few it's... people who actually likes it. I thought for sure I was going to hate it. I was going to be like, this is so annoying. This is going to be such a nu- nuisance. And then, mm. dude, nothing made me more pissed off from grocery shopping when I would like be done putting all my food away and I have like these eight to 12 plastic bags just looking at me, just oh, wanting yeah. to be thrown away. And if like one's wet, it's all weird. It's just making these crickly crackly sounds. Now I go grocery shop and I just need two to four tote bags and it's fucking easy. And then I just put them right back in my car. Yeah. I hear you on that. Yeah. It has nothing to do with like the environmental thing. I don't even know what the fuck. No, no, of course. It's just, it's easier. I, you know. Yeah, I, li- I just like it. I start the week out like, I'm going to bring these bags with me. And for some reason, it just doesn't happen. I always have, oh. there's like a dozen in my car. Um, yeah, I got to start keeping them in there. And I never, I never paid for them either. I just had like. Oh, no, of course. You just took them somewhere, or someone gave me some, or I want to, like, I won something and it came in a bag, and I'm like, oh, this would be a nice little grocery bag. (laughs) Oh, jeez. Ow. Of course the Yankees are losing. Why wouldn't they be (laughs) fucking losing? Are you all right, dude? You're dying? Yeah, water went down the wrong pipe. (laughs) Oh. Yeah, yeah, maybe you should have got a meal. 
a meal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drink some lemonade like a fucking square. They push me down and miss me. <laughs> I've been listening to fucking AI Drake, dude. Yeah, can you explain something to me? There was He's like so good. there was I was on Twitter and someone said like there's like these writers who are going on strike and they're going on strike because of AI. I legitimately oh thought God. it was like a rapper because one of the signs says AI can't write Tariq's raps. So I was like, is AI a rapper like TI? I was, I was confused. <laughs> yeah. Like Alan Iverson. I, I might be. The people used to call him AI, right? I feel like I'm old enough where I shouldn't say, ask this question or make this statement, but like maybe I'm new. Like I might be new, but I feel like I'm old enough where I'm not. Has anyone noticed that like those crappy little like 20 person strikes when people have like little picket signs haven't done a damn thing ever? I hope they die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. I mean this. Anyone who strikes, I hope they die. <laughs> like on their way home. In driving in the parents in the back of their parents' car, I hope it flips over. People at Stop and Shop fucking went on strike around here like a few years ago. I wanted to fucking kick them in the head. <laughs> what are people at Stop and Shop going on strike for? Exactly. It's not even a union, ba- or it's not even like a. It is not a union. Um, I meant to say it's not even a. It's not even like a. What, what? It's not like, even a good job. Well, <laughs> I mean, geez, there you go. You know, there you go. I mean, that, that's that's. that's I'm like, really? Stop it. You guys, entry-level cashier jobs, you guys really are being entitled here. Standing on the side of the road like anyone gives a fuck, dude. I couldn't have... Ca- I hope... I'm so glad. That I They're all going to lose their jobs. I can't wait. I'm okay with someone doing whatever they want. You're, you know, whatever. If you want to go on strike, go for it. It's just like... <laughs> like, I don't think artificial intelligence cares about... Your picket sign that you wrote on with a, a Sharpie marker, you know? Like, yeah. This is way beyond your scope. This is out of your, like, realm of expertise. Like, wh- and, like, what are you striking for? Like, what is. It's AI, it's artificial intelligence. Like, what is this? Sh- like, <laughs> like, you're not stopping it in any way. I know. They're not doing it, you know. Uh, Writers always strike, dude. Uh, writers are fucking annoying. Creative people, we'll, creative we'll people write are. Something. I think there's like one side of the seesaw of people who are retarded, and then there's the <laughs> other side of the seesaw of people who think they're smart. And I think the writer side and the creative people side are the ones who think they're smart. Does that make yes. sense? Like they think. They're smart and they think they deserve all this stuff, and it's just like yeah, no, they no, think it's a good idea to hold a sign. You're, on the side you're, of the road. you're just as re- retarded as the other side of the seesaw, like they. But those people, they just don't care that they're retarded. They know they're retarded, and that working a nine to five and breaking their back is like as the best that they can do. Yes, that makes sense, right? Yeah, they're at, at least they're at peace living in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> they might they might have like some other demons with uh, people of color and some other shit but <laughs> but when it comes to jobs they love it they're just ha- they're just happy someone's paying them to be alive <laughs> like, they're so happy <laughs> what coal mine 10 hours a day yeah, well yeah you gotta do what you gotta do you just put on my hard hat and like fucking they just gotta I mean, do it i get i understand it must suck if you hate your job yeah. i've i've worked jobs that i hate it is the worst thing in the world. It is the it's demoralizing, hundred percent. And I can totally sympathize with someone who's in that stage of their life still. But if you think you're so self-important that you're gonna hold a sign and think that anybody else cares, like like you're the dude who need, or you're the dude or lady who needs, or <laughs> non-binary, ma'am, who needs the fucking yeah, <laughs> or rather not say. Or rather, <laughs> we've all filled out that application. I do. I'm I've, I've been doing that now. <laughs> <laughs> I've always done it. I'm always like, I'm not telling you nothing. White Hispanic. I, that's not even a thing. As I like put my social security. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no. It's like, come on, dude. Well, I, I don't understand the no whole like if you're like 
if you are really like super creative and you're, you you love being creative and you love all this stuff and you love freedom and I this blah blah blah, it's like well then why are you working a job for money? Like doesn't that like suck yeah. all the joy out of your art? Like now you're making it also a business. Just fucking fucking don't even do your job. Just write to write and fucking right. Live off the, like do it as a passion. Yeah, dude. Like it just seems. Just seems like that's such a good fucking point, dude. That's a such a good point because it's always like you know. Remember, like in uh, when we were kind of in high school when the writer strike and like Comedy Central and shit was happening. Oh, that's right. I think, and it's S- like Seth MacFarlane was like part of that too. The dude, yeah, John guy. Stewart and shit, and like it was. <laughs> that was a job you know (laughs) like you're writing monologues for john stewart like that's not like you didn't you didn't when you were young you weren't like i'm gonna be a writer for the daily show you were like no you wanted to write like probably novels or something but you had to find a job in writing and that one opened up for you and you took it yeah and you make six figures doing it and then you're gonna hold the sign outside and think that normal people working for fucking 20 bucks an hour, I'm going to give a shit. <laughs> like 20 you bucks, at, fucking people you working asshole. like eight something an hour. I know, so. yeah, what am I talking about back <laughs> then? <laughs> My first job, it was like literally $7.25 was like minimum wage. I think that was me too, I do. I Which I, listen, I don't even care. Which like, is bananas to think about now. <laughs> 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 that I was like, I thought I was doing like some Oh, fucking moves. crushing it, man. I remember <laughs> yeah. I was like calculating this. I'm like, if I keep doing this and save everything <laughs> for the, yo, I'm going to have like $50 million dollars by the time I'm 32, <laughs> be rolling in it. Especially back then, because you have no bills, also. So yeah. it's like, and that's why you go to Burger King. Like, yeah, can I get a meal, please? <laughs> yeah, I live there with my parents, and I make minimum wage. You damn right, I'm getting an extra Sprite. Yeah, you know, if they took my breaks away at CVS, I would have just quit the job. I wouldn't have stood outside at a fucking sign. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, wait. Was so. What's this strike about? What kind of writers are? I don't know. Oh, hold on. Let me. Um. I didn't hear about this. Is this like a? Uh, big oh, thing? It, no. I. Wow. Well, I don't. I don't know. It didn't look like a big thing based off the tweet. How do I look back at tweets that I like was part of? Or hold on. Maybe I don't notifications. Know. Yeah, notifications helps. All right. So here it is again. Quantina sign. Uh, I just it had ten thousand, which isn't like a a lot. Writers Guild on strike. I would not have a job without the writers. Oh yeah, I think that's the same fucking guild from what I, the one I, when we were younger. Well, the Writers Guild is like a big thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like the it. What's it like the actual union of the whole thing? Yeah, dude, unions know. are fucking gay. <laughs> I fucking hate unions. God damn it! I found out that like you have to strike if you like work for one. Yeah, it's like you don't have to stand outside with a sign, but you're not allowed to work. Like if the union decides to strike, you all have to, even if you disagree with it. I don't get it. Like I don't know what it's the fucking sh- gay. strike is for. The Writers Guild of America strike. Usually actually... about pay. Yeah, it's always about pay. It's it's always yeah. It's, it's always, always like everyone wants more money. Raise the minimum wage should be fifteen. It's like, dude, if you're arguing for fifteen bucks. <laughs> You need to, you got bigger problems than that in life. The Writers Guild of America officially went on strike after failing to reach an agreement on a new contract with the Alliance of Motion Picture and, yeah, okay, they, they, don't, they didn't get as much money as they wanted in the contract. That's what it is. So, the people paying you decided you you were valued at this price and you disagree and you're probably wrong <laughs> they, I mean. So I think, and I think one part of it is that like, there, I guess some corporations are using ai writers good yeah good dude. good <laughs> good maybe they'll write a good commercial for once pete uh, davidson dude. just dropped off pizza from Savoyum gardens for striking writers guild member members in grief shut up pete Davidson. i, I think dude, he, that was i think he's fake i think he's fake dude what I, th- off, I think he sucks dick but he is funny based on what you said like you can't even find those old clips anymore of him making those insane jokes oh those are so good mm. The retard bit. God damn it, they took that shit off real quick. Yeah. I seen it, though. I'll never forget. I was like, this guy is funny. You seen it. <laughs> <laughs> but fucking Shane Gillis' Asian bit. To be fair, I think it was like like a week before he was supposed to go on SNL. 
Yeah, it wasn't even really like a. It wasn't a stand up bit though. It was just him and Matt on the fucking podcast. Just shooting the shit on, pod- on the podcast. Shooting the shit. Yeah, I still never actually seen that, to be fair. You never saw that clip? No. Is it it's easy- not that bad at all. Is it easy to find? Yeah, it it was hard for a while. <laughs> <laughs> can, uh, you had to like be on the Patreon, but I think you could probably find it now. If I find it, can we watch it? Yeah, absolutely. What would it be called? Matt's fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh, it's like probably Matt and Shane, the clip. That's probably all you would have to say. Asian see. clip. Like the infamous clip or something. Shane Gillis on Lose. What what's the name of their podcast? I think I found it. Ah, uh, it's Matt and Shane. Nah. Yeah, I found it. I found oh, it. Okay, yeah. Can we just watch it then with with you? You got this. Um. Okay. How do? I, oh yeah. <laughs> we just did this last week. I know. I forget every time. And it's All gonna right. be seven twenty p on the nose. Oh, that's right. I fucking hate it. <laughs> Why does it always do this to us? <laughs> it goes 720p. Dude, I think of you every goddamn time I see that on a porn site. I swear to God. <laughs> every time it says HD 720p, I'm like, what are you just fucking? You're so right. <laughs> Never been more right in your life. The fact though. that they have the gall to call that HD <laughs> is still beyond me. Especially now. Especially now with like 4K and shit. Six like, pickles. Dude. You can barely see a fucking nipple. <laughs> it's unreal. <laughs> Six pickles, he says. Oh, pixels. <laughs> I was <laughs> still thinking about fast funnier. food. <laughs> Six pickles. Yeah, uh, am I in it? Two minutes. What is he just saying? Chink ninety times? No, it's not bad at all. It's it really isn't. Uh yeah, I, it's open. You can you can play it. I haven't seen it in a while though. Damn, Chinatown's fucking nuts. It's crazy. Dude. It is full fucking China. Dude, it's yeah. fucking Chinese down there. I wonder how that started. They just built one fucked up looking building and people were like, well, all right, no one said anything. Let Let's the fucking b- chinks live there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, they built these fucking like huge Shanghai house. The first one must yeah. have infuriated everyone. They were like, been, I'm pissed what now. The I go fuck? down there, I'm like, what are you guys doing here? Get these ducks out of that window. I, You know what? Yeah, true. Also, I'm always like, how can there be so many fucking restaurants down here? All rest well because you go in there's like one person eating ever. Yeah, white idiots like me are down there True. sucking down neuters. I hate China. I hate the food at Chinatown. It sucks. I like Chinese it. food's a very dishonest cuisine. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. They invented a fucking chemical to put in their food to make it delicious, dude. It, well, it is. They made as MSG. Good for them. It's a dishonest food, dude. There's it's nothing. There's nothing to it. It's, it's shitty meat. Honorable. Shitty meat. A chemical they made up to fuck your body up, <laughs> and noodles, neuters. The neuters are fucking Cheapest great. thing in the world. We got in there. Chemical. <laughs> yeah. Sick. Worst meat you can find. We got in there and we sat down and baby girl was like, I'm so excited for neuters. And I was like, yo, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. She said neuters? Yeah. And there's a fucking, yeah. And it's, it's full fucking Chinese in there. It's like, and it's such well, isn't a that, Isn't that kind of like nice though? Isn't that being like when people go into like a Mexican restaurant, like I'll have two tacos. Like, uh, I'll have a bowl of spicy neuters. <laughs> <laughs> but we had, in, in the translation between you and the waiter, yeah. it's just such a fucking hassle. It's like, can you, I'm pointing at it. <laughs> like, this is the fucking yeah. neuter. Well, that's why I put number for like 57. Yeah, that's why, even with the fucking shit. I was yeah. pointing, I was like, that sauce. <laughs> yeah. That's that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that one. <laughs> a mi- medium or <laughs> uh, medium? <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> no medium. No medium. Spicy. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <That's> sh- <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> medium or spicy? Medium. Spicy. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh oh shit. Oh fuck. That was. <laughs> That last bit was fucking funny. Yeah. They, um, the funniest part, too, was what? during that whole thing is they, they went into a bunch of other bits of theirs. <laughs> like, they started quoting the podcast. And, like, even in quotes, they were, it was shit. Was, it was, I remember they said, like, Judd Apatow is gayer than ISIS. Like, serious publications were publishing that. Like, this is what, this is, 
like these people are hateful. <laughs> it's like, dude, that's a f- even on paper, that's a funny quote. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, how are you taking this seriously? What are neuters? Like noodles. Yeah, but why did why did they keep saying? Oh, are they like Asians with the accent? R's and L's? Ah, yeah. I just I just got Neuters. that when you neuter. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy uh, neuters. <laughs> that just made the clip funny. <laughs> neuters. Neuters. <laughs> neuters. No, Matt has a, had a great point with that too. Uh, it's a dishonest cuisine. I <laughs> it don't, really is. I, I don't know about that. Uh, I've never eaten like Chinese food in my life and like felt fulfilled or like it all. I always feel like shit. No, I thought he was saying it just tastes like shit. I think he, I think it does not too many nutrients. It's just noodles, which is just like wheat, flour, and sugar, and then like like he said, shitty meat, and then just MSG. Like, well, yeah, no, he's sauce. he is right about the shitty. It is the like it's so it's shitty that worst. people still think it's cat, which it still oh, yeah. might be. You ever get like steak at a Chinese restaurant? How dare you! Like good luck, dude. How it's like dare sh- you? <laughs> it's I mean, the most disgusting. When I was young, though, we got the poo poo platter, which of is course. which is like they would have like these little strips of like steak on a on a skewer. Oh yeah, and it oh, was the, like the steak teriyaki. Yeah, and like oh, and that yeah, shit was bomb, exactly. Dude, so ease up, but I dude, when you eight, think man. about it, as you're older, it's like remember those or you know those um slim jims. Yes. And you know, like next to the Slim Jim would be like the Jack Lynn, but like the one <laughs> yeah. strip of jerky. Yeah. Now imagine like paying $12 a strip. <laughs> like then you'd be like, I didn't buy. No way. But that's You're what right. Those those steak ones were good, but the chicken ones sucked. Dick, dude. They were dry as shit every no, dude, time. And, the chicken on a stick. Well, that's why Matt's right with the one case where like, like I always get sesame fried chicken, but that shit has to be like smothered with all that shit for it to eat. Oh, yeah. And like, I'll be. I'll chew into it and go, what? I've never, like, <laughs> chicken doesn't look or feel like this. At, like, what is this? Yeah. It definitely, like, it's seagull or something. It, oh, it might be. Seagull. I thought that. I think it might be seagull. That's a perfect. Yeah, because, like, what I was at the mall once and I got China? Chinese food. And, like, I remember I was in the parking lot. I was, like, 18 at the time. I was eating in my in my car at the time. Eating this chicken, it was like this bourbon chicken from some Chinese place, and it just didn't feel or taste like chicken at all. And I'm just looking at like easily five thousand seagulls circling the mall, and I was like, "Dude, <laughs> they're running some kind of operation out here." <laughs> There's a sniper on the roof. Like, I don't trust this. But dude, house fried rice or pork fried rice, that shit is good. Egg foo young, dude. Lo, yo, good lo mein. <sighs> Egg foo, goddamn young. Wonton soup. Oh, fried wontons. Ooh. Japanese soup's better, though. Uh, you can get like, a nice hot and sour soup, dude. Ooh. I don't like hot and sour. I don't like sour really? soup. Really? Yeah. And then sweet hey, and sour. Yeah. Nah, I don't like sweet and sour, but hot and sour soup, dude. Oh, it's spicy and sour. It's the best. Yeah. No, Matt, Matt, Matt doesn't have a fucking point. Johnny's food is fucking great. He's crazy. It is dishonest cuisine. <laughs> well, that, I, I don't understand what 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 are, what are they claiming it to be? Like who's eating fast, who's eating Chinese food in fucking twenty twenty three? Why not? Wait, what would you what'd you say though? I don't understand how it's dishonest. What's making it dishonest? Well, MSG. He's right about that. Did it? Was Did, that really created? Yeah, of course. Is he it, just doing a bit? No, it, uh, of course it doesn't occur. In, no, I mean it. It is in nature, but not like in the crystal form that they dump it in. In 1909, it. Professor Ikea, Ikeda fi- that's a, filed a patent to <laughs> produce MSG commercially. MSG was subsequently developed as a product that entered the food supply as a seasoning. Today, MSG is a popular additive and is produced from fermenting starch, sugar beets, sugar cane, or malai. Oh, that is just straight concentrated it's, carbs it's not just chinese food though it's fast food in general like like we were just uh, we're doritos like t- think of anything that tastes so amazing that it doesn't taste like anything else is msg in it it was a japanese chemist it wasn't even chinese oh really who derived it from seaweed and discovered that it had unique flavor enhancing properties these days msg is made from fermenting starch yeah huh japanese go figure I think this Matt and Shane guy might be racist. We should not have them on SNL. Yeah, what a bastards. <laughs> Fucking 
I mean, that does make sense because I think Chink soy neuters. sauce is Japanese. Chink neuters. <laughs> chink neuters. Yeah, so he, yeah, that was why he got dropped was the chink. It was the chink. Oh, no, I, I knew that. I just didn't know. I never saw the clip. That was the, that's the first and maybe only By time. the way, it was so odd. Like, I had just found out about Shane just because from Gas Digital. Like, he had been showing up on, like, Leading Us Skanks and, like, like right before that happened. And, like, <laughs> Dude, I remember seeing... I can't believe he's how so right you are. He's fucking funny. I didn't realize it at the time, though, because he didn't really talk that much on Legion of Skanks because it's hard to get a word in, and he was, like, it was, like, his first few times on, so, like... I didn't hate him, but I was I didn't really like he wasn't saying much, so I was just like, Oh, this guy's kinda of funny. And then I remember seeing a tweet of like new SNL and it was like Shane and it, like I just saw him the day before on like Legion of Skanks and he's like, SNL, new cast member. I was like, There's no way he's getting that job. Like, was, he was just His on Legion of Skanks like great. chanting like N word. Oh, it's so good. Uh, he um He's so fucking It seems like good. on podcasts, like once he gets going, like the first couple seconds are like meh, and then it's like it just gets funnier and funnier. Oh, their podcast is so fucking good, dude. It's really probably one of the funniest out there. I don't know the Mac guy at all, though. He is so good, dude. I was so worried when I was, I was like, all right, fine. I'll, I like Shane a lot. I'll listen to the podcast. You're afraid I was he was so going to turn into Adam Friedland from Come Town. Oh, there's so many podcasts where there's one good guy and the other guy just fucking sucks. But dude, Matt is fucking. You're, you're listening to it. You're, you're on one. Yeah. <laughs> Who, who's the one now? Who's the one? <laughs> I stink, dude. <laughs> um, I'm the, I stink. But, yeah. uh,. Is it? But yeah, I don't. I I haven't heard enough. Of, I've heard him a, f- a little bit on a clip from Joe Rogan's podcast where Shane was on, and then obviously oh, that so clip good. there. But I really have not heard any of him. He's like you. He he reminds me of you a lot. Gotcha. He's just always doing some weird shit. He's always doing some kind of sixty day fucking shit. <laughs> like he's always on a no fap or like no sugar or like audio porn only. Like he's a fucking audio weirdo. porn. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's his new thing. He's been on. Like he he'll only listen to like jerk off incentive like audio to jerk off. <laughs> oh, so you uh, so you listen to their podcast like every week? Actually... Yeah. Oh, and when does it come out? Uh, it, there's no set day. Oh, what but are we doing here? I, it comes out. There's it's an hour and a half usually, a and then. Surprise. I know. And then the Patreon is, is like an extra hour too, so I get two. Oh, you pay for their Patreon? 100%. Yeah, it's only, well, it was only a dollar when I signed up. It's now called it's Matt and Shane's five. Secret Podcast? Yeah. All right, let me follow it. Nice. I still, it's so hard for me. I still. I'll probably never listen to it. It's probably, it's probably to... tied with Legion of Skanks for me. It's hard to pick one over the other because they're different podcasts, but. I, it's funny. I don't listen to Legion of, Skank, Legion of Skanks, um, and I don't want well, to either. That's the thing. Yeah, fair enough. It's it's they do it live, and it's in like it's a, just a different energy. It's like there's a crowd there. Crazy oh, shit will Skanks happen. Legion of Skanks does it live still. Yeah, they go to like a comedy club, and like the room's packed, and like sometimes people will just show up thinking for like a regular show. So like the, it's a different vibe than just like Matt and Shane sitting on the couch. You know what I mean? True. So that's why I say it's hard to pick one because they're two different shows, but I like them both. Those are my like go-tos, and then the rest of the week is just trying to find other shit to like add in. I think that the reason I don't listen to them is right when I clicked on their thing, <laughs> the first thing in the bio is Legion of Skanks has been called the most offensive podcast on earth. And like right there, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to listen to it. <laughs> it's just yeah. like I don't want to listen to a show that calls itself like edgy or offensive. Yeah, they're... Their photos are the gayest thing ever, but they <laughs> lean into it. <laughs> so right now, I'm um, I'm only following on Apple Podcast Bill Burr's podcast. Do you still listen to that? Uh I gotta admit, I I was trying to the other day, and I I'll just like to like I'll I'll just listen to it for like five or ten minutes, and then when it's, once I have something better to do, I'll stop. Yeah, I just feel like I'm listening to my dad nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. He, dude. He aged ten years in like two years. It's unreal. I guess the second I, kid I love him, was it having the, maybe having the I second kid or the pandemic being over. I don't fucking know. I, I'll make up excuses all day. I don't know what it is, but it, I, I heard him on another. I listen. I have a podcast. feeling him and his wife aren't doing well. <laughs> like, I know, dude. Something's I've, up. I feel like, like two to three years from now we're gonna be like, and hey, Bill Burr and Nia get divorced. Like, at ah, there it is. 
There it just is. seems like he lost like his passion or something. Remember when Louis C.K. got divorced and like somehow became even funnier? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> That's what happens. Well, everyone's gotten funnier. <laughs> He's like one of the only comics where, like, he had, in my opinion, he hasn't really gotten funnier in the last few years. I'm like, I don't know. It's probably the kids. It's got to be the kids. Got to be the kids. He's so successful that he's probably not too worried about his career at this point. Yeah, it's he's got like he's in fucking nine TV shows a week, and he's always oh, that's getting invited yeah. to talk show. He's probably like trying every time he has free time instead of writing new jokes. He's probably fucking hanging out with his kids. Yeah, it did seem like he was starting to go down more like the actor route. Like he was starting to be in more movies and shows. So maybe he's like focusing on that, which I yeah. get. And he's yeah, he's in, it's not like he's like doing that. And hindering his comedy like career possibly. He's in his fifties. He's already he's like like you said, he's goaded. He's already he's set. He's goaded. Yeah, so it's his podcast, my podcast, our podcast, arguable, and now Matt and Shane. So there's only four podcasts I follow, like in general. Mm. And he's just uh he he was on a podcast with like two British idiots. Yeah. I listened to not too long ago and he just stunk on it. No, no, I, lo- I, I love t- him, but he's stunk. No, I told you that uh, about that, but that those two British guys. Who the fuck were they? They sucked, but he sucked too. <laughs> like, he oh, didn't, did he? Yeah, he just. They were like, so, like, uh, cancel culture, and like, are you? A, what's your process? And he's just like, what cancel culture? He's just like, all right, we're doing that game. It's like, <laughs> like, come on, dude. Like, uh, I like Bill. I like his. I love I like him, his but takes. like, what are we doing here? <laughs> like, you were doing this shtick for like five years ago, Bill. Like, like, get a new fucking shtick, dude. I was uh, re-listening to the uh, episode of Arguable we did, the Stephen Crowder and his wife thing. It's, oh, I haven't listened to that it's yet. So fucking funny. <laughs> Is when, it? <laughs> when we just start talking about the yard. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is one part where you're like, I'm gonna steal this dog, man. I'm gonna steal this dog. I was fuck I was pulled off the fucking highway. It was fucking great. Dude, you I almost fell on my Dude. chair laughing when you were like, This is you you were like, This is what we would be doing if we were there right now. <laughs> That's exactly what we'd be doing. Dude, wow. I realized like that's a twenty minute episode and for maybe two and a half minutes we talked about the actual thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta listen back to that. That was funny as shit, dude. That was fucking great. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Fucking... I forgot about that Steven Crowder video. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny It would be shit. funny if, like, a second video came out. Like, imagine, like, the... Like, say... Because uh, that's one of those, like, 50-50 things. So, imagine out of the 500,000 people that saw that or what... I'm sure there's, like, millions at this point. But like the fifty mm. percent that like we're like he no this isn't bad da, 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 da. and like another video comes out and he's like literally just like jamming the lit part the cigar to her forehead. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the defense. Would, well, we didn't see what happened beforehand. <laughs> she could have gave herself an abortion and threw the fetus right at him. <laughs> there would still be people like on his side. That's the crazy thing. I don't know. It, it, the video itself was fucking. Dude, I'll see. That that's the one thing I've learned from. Was fucking oh, great. Yard's amazing. Yard's amazing. I would say a little bit narrow of a patio. I wish it came out a little bit more. But actually, maybe the narrowness made it like feel cozy. You know. Yeah. Also, we didn't get to see the full yard. It could be one of those yards that is only like fucking eight feet long. <laughs> oh, and it's right next to another right fucking, on the fence. Yeah. Oh, neighbor. It looked like it could have been that like type oh, of yard. Oh, I hope it's not a neighbor yard. Oh, the worst. The worst. The and worst. Then, and then like they somehow feel offended if you put a fucking fence up. It's like fuck you, dude. Like this is yeah. This is my house. This yours. is on my property. Oh, like, my, right. oh, oh, we got to bring out the town now. The yeah, guy in the yeah. green truck's got to pull up <laughs> with a clipboard. The, <laughs> the guy in the green truck with an iPad. It's 2023. I know. <laughs> We've all become our parents. Oh. One thing I've learned is everyone hates the government. That's the one thing I'm seeing. I'm starting to try. Like, we were, I, we were working on a, a, a client's job that they're, like, building a house. And, like, the water department had to come out. And, like, two fat guys came out of truck, like, waddled out of their trucks. And for, like, an hour and a half, they just left the trucks running. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, there's a bunch of, there's us and construction guys and pool guys. And we're all, like, looking at each other, like, look at these fucking guys. <laughs> like, what are they doing, dude? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, this is against regulation. You're going to have to change that. It's like, all right, all right Bart. 
Fuck in your fucking truck. <laughs> you fucking lap dog. What were you going to say before, though? I think I cut you off. Was I? Yeah, like two minutes. Eh, you probably forgot. I forgot. So we were talking about Steven Crowder, Yard. I don't know. Yeah, we are talking about Backyards. Yeah, something, something like that. Yeah, so you don't really... I mean, you because you don't really have, like... I feel like only people who listen to podcasts are ones who do it like while they're at work or like traveling. I do have a lot of free time, but when um, when but why, yeah, but why would you want to listen to a podcast in free time? You know, well, no, no, well, yeah, there's that, but also I do. There are some like some days where I'm seeing clients, and the drive could be long enough where I could listen to it. Like I've listened to ours, I've gone back to ours, but usually, honestly, I'm listening to um, my bad, I'm listening to uh, music or sports talk. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, you you're on the sports talk thing. Yeah, I'm like the yeah. This is called the uh, bait. The old version of podcast. It's called radio. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> y'all might have remembered it. I still I'm still one of those who still listens to that shit. And I don't I listen see, to I, it as a stream. I actually listen to it on the fucking dial. Right. That makes sense. Well, I'm surprised you haven't like looked for sports podcasts. Be, uh, because I. I then get, you could find exactly like your niche. I get, like, people I, you like. I get the fix. I, 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 I got my fix. Cause like I'll listen to Bill Burr and when he talks about sports mm. and starts talking about like hockey, I'm like, yeah, Bill, I already get this from people who like do this I, on the dude, daily. This is the thing, right? Cause for years I listened to Bill's podcast and every time he would talk about sports, I fucking hate it. <laughs> I'd shut it off sometimes or fast forward. I'd literally fast forward through it. And here's the thing I noticed is when I started to listen to Shane Gillis, that Shane Gillis talks about sports all the time. I love it because he he's like makes it funny. Like, yeah, he's funny with uh, it. And what I, what I learned, and that's when I learned, I was like, oh, it's not sports that I don't like. It's specifically Bill Burr talking about because <laughs> he says it in this way. He of says like, it like he's not telling a joke. He's just like telling no. you what he saw. And <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, Bill, I love you. I saw the same thing. Can we get like next, please? Yeah. Like, fucking A. <laughs> and even you, you've, you've brought up sports in a way where I'm like interested, where it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's, I think no, some no, people... dude, Shane's bits on sports are fine. The, the two oh. I've heard are fucking hysterical. Oh, so good. I don't even know what the half the shit he's talking about, but I'm like, it is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the shit on Bill Burr podcast episode. <laughs> like, holy shit. I know. I, I hate it because I'm like, I love that dude. You, you know, I love that dude. Like, but It's like a, it's, you know what it is? It's like seeing in, um, a sports athlete where like you can tell they're at the end of their career, but they're still trying to hang in there. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, exactly what it I is. wish you retired on top so I can remember you then. <laughs> Not like this. He's just like this old lion, like with a foggy eye, and like his mane's <laughs> rustled, and he's got like scars, and he's like waddling around. It's like, dude. But any type of like super fan would be like, I'd rather be eighty be eighty old Bill than twenty year old you. You know, it's like, yeah, no, wait, I get me, but he's still awesome. But it's funny. Yeah, he's, it's fucking funny. Oh, if someone hopped in here and started shitting on Bill Burr, I'd fucking strangle him. <laughs> <laughs> he was never funny. <laughs> I'd be Overweighted. Like, <laughs> he's a goat. No, he's fucking great. Because I think with him, he, like, his stand-up was, like, not always, but, like, when he was, like, in his peak, his stand-up was, like, one of the best. And then also on podcasts and radio shows, he's just fucking great, man. Oh, undisputed, dude. In his he's, peak? Outside of Patrice, undisputed. under fucking spe- Yeah, Patrice only, is the only one who even comes close when it comes to, like, radio. Yeah. Stand- that generation? Yeah. Just and walking into specials. a local radio show and just shitting on the host for half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. And even like, I, I love Louie, but like, don't get me wrong, Hilarious, one of the best stand-up specials of all time. I still think Bill Burr's like three in that era, or like, not even close. Really? I don't know. I think Louie's uh, specials are better overall. Really? See, that? See, it's I don't know the names, but the Bill Burr one where he's like wearing that black long sleeve... I think nothing even touches like that to me is in like a different. It's not even like S tier. It's like S plus plus. Talking like, about the one where it was in black and white. Um, it was like two before that. It was like his most famous ones. Like any of the bits you you think of when you think of Peak Bill Burr, it was on that one. True. Okay. It was like the, it was the one with like um um what's gold digging whores one bit. <laughs> You know that famous one. Yeah, I think the difference with Arnold Schwarzenegger me, cheating one with me and 
like with Louis and Bill is like, like Louis, I remember the names of his specials, like, like shameless and chewed up and hilarious. Sincerely now. Sorry. Live at the Beacon Theater. Oh my God. Like I remember like over half a dozen of the names of specials. I can't really, like I know Paper Tiger and I, that's the thing. Like I know so the bits from his specials, but I don't remember the names for some reason. I know they were bad names. I think maybe that's why. Yeah, maybe, I think yeah. With Louis, they're really like quick names. Where I think like one of the Burr specials is like "See Your Way Out" or something. Where it's just like this. It's too wordy. Hold on, let's see. Bill Burr specials. A special. I spelled that wrong. I think I do definitely think now Louis C.K.'s are way better though. I will say that. Well, that's probably because um, the Red Rock one just wasn't that good. Dude, I didn't even finish it. I did, but you know like, how it mid was... it has to be for it to be a Bill Burr special, and I don't even finish it. I, yeah. All right. Let's see. Premium blend and the Comedy Central presents one night stand over live. At, why do I do this? Down. That's one of them. Why do I do this? Is one of them. Let it go. I know. Let it go. Like right off. I know. I know the cover art to that one. Um. You people are all the same. I'm sorry you feel. Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. Walk. Yeah, there it is. Walk your way out. Paper tiger. Friends who kill. Let. Oh, let it go too. Yeah, these are too wordy, dude. I know these are really bad names. No wonder I don't remember. I think why do I do this? Is the one I'm talking about with the black long sleeve. Um, that one, oh my god, that's me, special. I think you're right. That one and uh, let it go are really fucking. Let me say. Yeah, why do yeah why do I do this with the uh, black V neck? Yeah, isn't that the one where he's he talks about like the beating women? Yeah, he's with fucking, the Chris Brown. That that is that's like one of the best bits ever. That was like the f- the one that like made him go. Oh, okay, this guy like deserves to be one of the best. Let's keep like fucking doing that. <laughs> and then once the 2014 2015 kind of year came around, and then the Trump <laughs> stuff started st- like and the SJW stuff started happening with like the anti and the pro women stuff. Mm. That's when it catapulted him to like, oh, he's now he's not just like in the Hall of Fame. Now he's in like the one percent of the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. It's like he's not Greg Biggio. This guy's like fucking Ted Williams over here. Like, <laughs> yeah. He didn't just get in from his numbers. Like this guy, like when you think Hall of Fame, like this is one of the first guys that comes up. Yeah, he's he was. Yeah, I realize there's some some piece of shit guys out there that come home. Tuna casserole and just start swinging. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I realize those guys exist. They should be buried underneath the prison. But Dude. women, can you admit every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> <laughs> Even in hockey, there's two minutes for instigating. Dude, I, was I like, like he's fucking I, great. Those bits are so fucking good. Is that the one where like if a house is on fire, those like yeah. hardcore <laughs> feminists would like start pu- putting the little hairs into pigtails. Yep, oh, I'm just pig a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the one where it's like the, why they get like a dollar less an hour or something. It's like, for, for, cause for some fucked up reason, yeah, the Titanic. that Titanic's going down. <laughs> you get to leave with the kids where I'm over there with the guy with the cello. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm the guy who like, you're the girl floating on the thing about to get saved. He's like, I'm the guy who, like, when the bo- boat splits yeah. in half, he, like, falls off and dings <laughs> Ding. off the propeller. <laughs> that was a great fucking special. Which is such a good joke, because everyone who's watched that movie has seen that scene with that guy dinging off Yes, the dude, I remember that, dude. <laughs> it was such a good callback where I'm like, yes. Well, there's two dudes. There's one where it splits in half and, like, multiple like there's a lot of people falling but then there's like one main guy who like falls in the middle but then at the end of the boat the guy that falls off the back end and just hits the propeller <laughs> bing and yeah. then just like bing. fucking does like a helicopter spin into the ocean it's <laughs> yeah. crazy like you didn't have to have that i already thought the scene was intense dude i know <laughs> that actually made an intense scene funny like it, really it was like did. all right we get it what's next fucking godzilla's gonna come out of the ocean and just start fucking <laughs> eating people like jesus that movie still fucking holds up. Um, let it go. Let me see what the cover art for Let It Go. Yeah, Let, let it, it Go is really good. Let It Go is great. Let It Go is really great. You uh, people are all the same. That was like the last good one in my opinion. 
Uh, let me see. The black and white one was after that, and that was mid. No, the black and white one I liked because it had that fucking joke with the helicopter. The helicopter. That was the, yeah, that's the only good bit, though. It's, and that's, even then, it's not that great. It's so, no, dude, that joke, when I heard it the first time, I was at work. I agree. And I was watching it on a work computer, and I'm trying to hold in (laughs) me laughing, and I'm like almost throwing up. I, it's such a good bit. I thought Walk Your Way Out was kind of mid. Maybe a little Walk your way out wasn't mid. It was terrible, dude. I, Easily the most forgettable. I don't, especially, especially with a special. I hate when comedians like uh, like pander or talk about like the state and like place they're at. It's like, bro, this mm. is a, this is a you're not this is not a local sports team. You're doing a special. This is a national show. I don't give <laughs> yeah, a yeah. fuck where. Like, I don't care that you're in Nashville or whatever yeah, the fuck you're you did. Kipsy. Yeah, dude, I don't give two <laughs> shits. <laughs> Paper Tiger was good. Uh, mid, 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 mid. I guess good and mid. Like name a bit from Paper Tiger. It was the middest special that ever been admitted. <laughs> it's the middest special. That ever been <laughs> I don't even think I finished Paper Tiger, to be honest with you. No, I finished it. It's all right. It just seemed like it was starting to get a little dated at that point, where it's like, all right, I mean, these jokes maybe a year or two ago would have been a little bit more topical, but I get it. You're doing your mm. thing. And then after that, yeah, I didn't see, um, or I also, did see Live at Red Rocks. It's just meh. So the 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 black and white one, the walk your way out, and the paper tiger, those all came out. I believe I was still like heavily listening to his podcast too. So that might have been it also. Where like I would watch the special, like um, you kind of said, and I I'd be like, you, I've already heard every iteration of these like a hundred times. Yeah, you might. I think like around the paper tiger time is when I started like hearing a lot of his podcast. So maybe that's why I thought it was a little like behind. But mm. I still gave the benefit of the doubt. But yeah, I think the podcast really hurt. I think if I. If he does yeah. another special and then like picks it up from the last one and also I haven't listened to his podcast, it might well, be Well, that's what good. I thought because I haven't listened to his podcast in a few years now and the Red Rock fucking stunk, dude. <laughs> I hated that special. <laughs> Red Rock wasn't a good special. It really wasn't. The, uh, the one good joke was the WNBA one and that was like way too far into the special. <laughs> I do and like it the, still wasn't that fleshed out. I do like the uh, the abortion joke too. Even though it like doesn't make sense, it wouldn't make sense in an it actual argument. It's a good joke. It was it was good, but I've it was gonna I, I be. I think a Louis C.K. one was better. Um, where it wh- was like Roe, he's like Roe versus Wade, and he's like where it was Roe versus. He's like, I think the baby was Wade, <laughs> <laughs> and Roe won. <laughs> I think he just did though an abortion joke on his latest special at like he did live at Dolby or something, and it was fucking ins- it was it was great. It was so good. Hold on, let me find it on YouTube. I think we can listen to it. See, like all Bill has to do is get a divorce. Um oh my have, God, have like people come out about how he like jerks off on other people. And then <laughs> and then like he'll be like right at Louis uh At this um, stage again. of the game he couldn't be cancelled. No, the, he, he, the only if re- he was gonna he he would have been swept up in like the, when it first started. He when could be ca- was getting anyone hit, could but. be canceled. The way he would have to be canceled if like stay like a like a ring dot com video comes out and he's just calling Nia the n word left. Oh and right. my god! Imagine. <laughs> and then like oh, he's man. like yelling at like his kids, "You fucking half and halves! I never even <laughs> wanted you!" <laughs> like yeah, that. I I just him. love how he he yelled about how like dude for years on the podcast he yelled about how great pipples are and it's the owner and you know anyone who has a pipple it's the owner's fault if it's a bad there's not they're not bad dogs and then the second he has a kid he's like yeah i had to get rid of the uh <laughs> the, the dog was being real aggressive it's like yeah no shit bill <laughs> you fucking asshole for three years you were like yelling about it was, defense, it was, ado- was, it was an adopted dog the thing had yeah 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 it had the owner i thought repressed memories from the past in the yeah, past yeah sure here wait here's the abortion video can you play that i don't hear us? about too many golden retrievers mauling children <laughs> oh is this it yeah because What's this one dude you haven't seen this yet wait is this from his live at the um no I know this, it is, says, this is at dolby this is another theater he's just going to theaters now and fucking post them on his shit when did this came out come out uh a couple months ago i think it was february oh so this is probably his bit from the, the special oh you think the, this was part of the msg one yeah because i still never saw that even though you sent it thank you by the way yeah, yeah, but 
It's probably. Dude, I listened to this and I was like, this is fucking great. Uh, Anytime you want to. I'm doing it. Yeah, you know what the hell. If you're trying to teach your kids right from wrong, you got to choose a side often because not everybody agrees on what's right and wrong. So how do you know, you know, like abortion? Some people think it's murder. Some people don't. I personally, I think people should get abortions like a lot, like as many as you can. You should try to get a lot of abortions. You know why? Because it creates jobs. (laughs) More abortions, more jobs. For the doctors and the nurses and the dumpster guy. Everybody has to <laughs> the dumpster guy. <laughs> How are they going to feed their kids if you don't kill yours? <laughs> You've got to think of everybody. <laughs> Abortion is a big topic, of course, because Roe v. Wade was overturned. Roe Ro versus Wade. Of course, we all know what this is. This was a court case. Oh, you're right. Roe was a woman who wanted an abortion. And Wade was the baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's so assuming. good. I never found that out is a Wade great bit. Wade must have been the baby. Anyway. But now that we don't have that, every state has to come up with their own law based on how people feel. They have to listen to people and see how they feel. I think most Americans feel, on average, the same thing about abortion. They feel like people should be able to get abortions if they need them, but, uh, you know, just uh, keep it down a little bit. There, <laughs> 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 Go ahead, but, uh, yeah, come on, come on. You know, do it, but don't be like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Like, just, you know. So we need a law that covers that, that keeps it available, but limits it. Here's what I think we should do. Let's make this the law. You can get an abortion anytime, anywhere, but if you get an abortion, you have to eat it. I think that's fair. <laughs> because that'll <laughs> keep it, that'll make you, hmm. Fuck, I gotta eat it? <laughs> I better do it soon. <laughs> Just trying to make everybody happy. I love that ending. I'd better do it soon. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So is that the same exact one from MSG? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I forgot about the the second part, but that Roe v. Wade, just that simple little joke, dude, I loved it. (laughs) When I first heard that, I fucking died. (laughs) I was like, how have everyone been talking about this for so long and no one saw that stupid little joke? (laughs) Maybe they have, but like, he was the first. I had never... I thought joke. it was clever. It's, oh, it's, yeah, he's fucking funny. He's fucking great. He's goaded. He's beyond goaded. He's like in a different realm. Yeah, I, I can't even think. That's my voice. He's cracks. like I in that I, Dave Chappelle realm where, like, telling you, do. He, oh, hold on. It, when, <laughs> <laughs> Not where, even close. Where, um, like, he does like his own thing. Like, it's almost like he's an independent oh, artist yeah, at this yeah. point. No, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. By the way, I this is gonna be hard to say. Right. So on YouTube Shorts, one of the things that been that was popping up for a couple weeks, I think it stopped this past week, were old bits from the two Eddie Murphy specials, Raw, and I think the other one might be called Uncut or something, but Raw is like the big one. Mm. And I'm listening to these, and I'm like, what? I don't get it. I don't. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't get it. I've tried so many times I don't, to, to get into him. I d I don't get it. I don't get it. It's just not like I just I leave the video going like I leave the video going that was a bit. Like in my head, I'm like, that was a bit. But then like <laughs> when I'm flabbergasted in is like, how did that sell out like an eighty thousand like dollar eighty or an eighty thousand person cathedral or wherever the fuck he was at? Like he might as well have been the Coliseum. I was confused. Like, you ever see a jive turkey? Working yeah. all jive like? Yeah, like, that's, that's like... turkey gay. Why that turkey wearing a hat? That's a, that's a gay turkey. <laughs> I'm like, this was comedy, dude. Oh, shit. Fuck? Yeah, like you you impersonating it made it funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't get it. But like every every like old school, like, you know, the Bill Burrs, the Joe Rogans, they'll, they'll, the Dave Chappelle's, they'll all be like, Eddie Murphy Raw was just 
it changed the world. And I'm just, I've tried listening to, I haven't listened to the whole but thing, that's the to thing. be honest. Did, like, like, did it? Like, maybe it, it, like, it did. At the time, probably, yeah. That's the thing. Maybe, like, there was something, like, about it that I, I'm not aware of. Like, oh, well, comedians weren't able to do this until Eddie did it. And then other comedians started doing it. Like, Chris Rock and da-da-da. I'm like, I, all right. I'm sure he was important, you know? To like the industry and I like just don't the craft, know what it, was. it definitely doesn't age well. And and the thing that people when people are like, oh well, comedy just doesn't age well. It's like that's not true because I, I still Carlin listen to is, George yeah. Carlin exactly. Yeah, you can listen to that right now Andrew and still D- be like, some this of is Andrew great. Dice Clay's bits are still fucking funny. Some of Sam Kinison's bits are still fucking Sam funny. Sam yeah. Richard Pryor, I'm kind of like on your boat, but there are some of his bits that are fucking really good. I haven't heard him, but I haven't tried either. Richard Pryor? Yeah, I've heard s- clips here and there, and I know <laughs> it's, it never really catches me. There's one. There, one of the bits that's fucking funny is like, I think he was just talking about like different racial stuff, which of course. But then he's like, one thing black people gotta admit, like I was at the motherland, and we gotta admit we got like, and he was just talking about the funk, and he's like, I got in the <laughs> car with one of these dudes, I'm like, God damn, and he's just like <laughs> swatted at his face and shit, and I was like, that shit's funny. That sounds funny. Yeah, it was funny. I probably just haven't given him a good chance. Yeah, and but part of me is like, that's a great joke, but I wonder if like, because I remember you saying that, uh, what's his name, Mooney used to write for him. Yeah, that's what I heard. But then I found out I, I think I might be getting that wrong. I feel like someone like uh, of his like I feel like he wouldn't have like a writer. No, because I was listening to a podcast. I forget what podcast, but someone was like, "Oh, Paul Mooney was um was uh what's what Richard Pryor's writer," and he was like, "Yeah, that's writer with a D." Oh, I was I, I, I think that's just what they used to call openers back in the day. Oh, that's a big like difference. He's just right along. <laughs> and I, I was like, oh, this whole time I've been saying he's his writer, but he's his rider. He just many open for him. So I'm like, fuck, I've been telling I've been fucking misinformationing, you know? That's a big old difference. But I didn't know. I would never I'd only heard that term in terms of like I want only green M and M's, like like a celebrity's rider, you know? Mm. Like they want sour patch kids. That's what you're supposed to have for them. You ever heard you know that? Well, now I'm looking at all these articles, though, where it's like Paul Mooney dead, pioneer in comic, wrote for Richard Pryor. Maybe he did Paul this. Mooney, who wrote for Richard Pryor. I don't fucking care. He's, he was also gay as fuck. Paul Mooney? Yeah, he was gay as the day is long. <laughs> like, actually gay? Yeah, but apparently he was, like, in the closet. I can see that. But he was, like, behind the scenes for sure gay. Just sucking all the dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all of it. All of it. <laughs> I also think Eddie Murphy was gay. Yes, dude, he he does seem gay. Well, he got. I've like, always thought he that got too. caught. He got pulled over by a cop, and there was a transsexual prostitute in the car with him. Oh boy! And like, wait, is this what, what, this you is hear a, this TMZ? <laughs> no, this is like a thing that happened in the nineties. Oh, okay. And like, lo and behold, like after that event. Like him and like I guess his PR team came out saying like no he she needed a ride she didn't have a ride like, <laughs> yeah I swear I swear <laughs> yeah. this is and like now you I don't know a nice guy. I don't know whether this was like one of those hit campaigns where like it's like one of these things like oh Eddie Murphy doesn't want to play ball well what we're gonna do is like set him up and write these articles or if this actually ha- I have no idea like shit like that might have happened but uh, after that it seemed like he went to a very family friendly friendly type of comedy after that event mm. he wasn't making a lot of uh, fag jokes anymore which by the way those two specials that he had those two f- right. infamous specials he opened the it litany like, of fag the jokes faggots. yeah not, and not not gay jokes by the way like legit he's saying faggots yeah yeah but back then that was like not even controversial yeah that's like saying you got a tickle in your throat yeah, like when, like when we were young, there's faggot no one blinked an eye at faggot. No, nah, people blinked an eye at faggot. Now where I live, no one blinked an eye at gay. Definitely, no one blinked. <laughs> a, no one blinked nothing at gay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was like mainstream media. And if someone gay. if someone said the word queer, people would be like, "What are you fucking gay? Why are you using that word?" <laughs> <laughs> no, you are right though. Faggot did still hold a little bit of weight. Yeah, right dude, I'm, like, I'm pretty pin- sure in sixth grade, if you called someone a faggot, the teacher wouldn't be like, "Well, anyways, next on the chapter is." 
where she would yeah. keep going with the acrylic cook I guess I, I, I guess I just heard it a lot more, I would say. But then again, I was around more people because in school. I oh, guess. no. I heard it a lot. But I think, oh, uh, you know what it is? What I'm trying to say is it was something you would get in trouble for with higher ups, but you wouldn't say faggot. And then like one kid go like, whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, man. Yes. <laughs> that's what I meant. <laughs> that's like what, you get okay, in trouble yeah. if you said fuck too, but we also, exactly. say, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, I just don't think there was this extra weight there. Now faggots, like you could throw that out and like, you could start a brawl. Yeah, like to the opposite direction, not like the actual gay kid fighting. It would be like yeah, it would be six like, people coming in the defense of the gay kid going. With like signs standing outside of the <laughs> stop and shop. <laughs> <laughs> the students of the 11th grade are on strike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Eddie Murphy did have the fucking dude. I wonder if he's gay, if that's a thing. I, 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 I don't Looking know, at I his don't mustache, know. I'll say this. It's a pretty gay mustache. Looks like a gay mustache. Yeah, it looks like a gay mustache. <laughs> the shape of it, it's... Uh... And by the way, it's he okay to be gay. Played a woman in a bunch of roles. It is perfectly fine to be homosexual. It is, but why are there in the closet gays? I, I'll never understand that. I think because they just feel... They don't want it to be like their identity or something. I think people still feel like... I, I think it's like how you're brought up. If you live in a family where it's probably not 100% okay, then, like, yeah, maybe, like, more people in the world don't care as opposed to the people who do care. But if the people who are closest to you actually care, it's hard to open up about that. Mm. So and then you closet yourself to the whole world, even though the main reason probably is because you're closeting yourself from just a few people who are close to you. What I'm trying to that say, Jim, is I, I'm a faggot. <laughs> no, yeah, it's just a, that was one of the most like insightful things you've ever. Heard. <laughs> <laughs> I was genuinely like, "Damn, that's pretty. Uh, that sounds pretty spot on." Yeah, that's some yeah. good shit right there. <laughs> yeah, that sounded like some fucking therapy shit. <laughs> well, why don't you take a seat? Fucking same guy who did the Nutty Professor, though. You know, I don't think he's too worried about opinions. <laughs> I still haven't seen Pluto Nash. Movies. I really want to see that movie. What's a uh, Pluto Nash? Pluto Nash is like a movie that like is like one of the biggest flops of all time, and it's starring uh, Eddie Murphy. It's oh, just, it's got to be. I've never even heard of it. Pluto Nash. That's how much of a flop it was. It didn't even hit my radar. So the budget was a hundred million. Box. Oh my God. Box office. You ready for this whopping number? Box office seven point one million. Oof. Robot Chicken literally had like it was Oof. Eddie Murphy bringing his kids to work day and it was like the day the, the numbers came out for Pluto Nash. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great fucking sketch like, he's bringing them in I can on, see the little action figures <laughs> he's, he's in like a stretch limo like you guys ready to see where uh, daddy works and then like one of the, like, the sales guys like comes flying through the sunroof of the limo just like cause he jumped off the building <laughs> <laughs> <It's fucking great. laughs> uh, that was a good show that was a good show i never like seek that show out but if i if i came across it while like changing channels i'd always stay yeah yeah jay moore was in it no wonder who's jay moore oh he's that fucking guy that would go on o a once in a while with when bill was there <laughs> like, he oh was he was stuck. on pluto nash yeah it says he was tony francis Rosario Dawson, though. She's a big name. Yeah, but not, like, a big enough to, like... Randy Quaid. Oh, I know Jay Moore. Yeah, he's... Who the fuck's Randy Quaid? Jay Moore... Jay Moore would be in a flop he, like this. <laughs> he, yeah, he exists. But that's all I know about him. He Damn, he got, like... Fat. He just looks more and more like a toe every day. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's the movie about, dude? I kind of want to watch it now. Pluto Nash. Uh, something about space or something. Can't be worse than fucking... Uh, Here, wait. Do you want to watch the, the sketch? Pootie Tang. Yeah, yeah. I saw Pootie Tang. I, I still it give it grandma. I still give it the... Ben you, wait, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> yeah, dude. I went to with my grandma. Why? Because uh, used to, I used to like go over her place and like we'd spend the day together. It was really I, cool I used to play sweet. dominoes with my grandma. Yeah, we'd do that too. We'd play like cards. We'd always play like crazy eights and shit. 
And uh, so not we watch probably, Pootie Tang. And she, you know, she gave me all the sweets. She had candy and shit and soda. And then we we turn on the TV and she was, you know, she's an old woman, so she's just like, "What do you? Let's watch something we both want to watch." I was like, "Okay, cool." <laughs> so she, you know, she had like the Comcast, like hundred channels or whatever, so cable box. So she's flicking through and she's like, "Ah, oh, what's?" And we see Pootie Tang, and we're just she was like kind of a silly woman. Like she's just laughing at we're laughing at the name. We're like, "All right, let's watch this." She knows what Pootie Tang <laughs> means. No, and I didn't either. I don't think I was probably like eleven. Mm. And uh, we turned this on. I, I what? Like ten minutes in, me and her are both looking at each other like this is the dumbest thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, and we were the two like perfect demographic for that type of humor that we're going for. And that movie just sucks so bad. You know who it directed that, right? Terrible. Yeah, it was Chris Rock and Louis C.K. Right? Well, yeah, it was Louis C.K. and I'm sure Chris Rock like wrote like a lot of it. But I, I think Louis C.K. has like done things where like he talks about how like the uh, what was it like the production c- company or what like just mm. like forced them to make so many changes to what the original idea was. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. I heard that all way after the fact. That's why so many like times. Well, not so many times. I think I've only seen it once fully, and then like sometimes it'd be on Comedy Central, and I watch it before the commercial came on or something but um i don't like we'll give it like the benefit of the doubt it's like this is a terrible movie but like i can see maybe what they were trying to go for i don't, <laughs> I don't know put a tank <laughs> we we're just like dude this, what the fuck is this dude this is the uh, robot chicken but i haven't seen this in so long oh yeah, yeah. i haven't seen I, i've never seen this forever I like this. I like um, just watching clips. I like when you bring me a new clip. What do you mean? Something I've never seen before. I like that. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Like something I've never seen before. I love like reacting it, like reacting to it with you. Yeah, yeah. That is fun. Did you enjoy the movie, sir? the weekend box office numbers, sir. <laughs> Who wants to see where daddy works? <laughs> <laughs> box office returns from the adventures of Pluto Nash claimed over 50 The only fucking fire I remember. <laughs> in the United States Congress memorialized the terrible tragedy. <laughs> You know what that reminds me of, though? You know, like, uh-huh. I, I defended it, but you're so right. You know what show really sucked? And I defended what? it. I act like, oh, well, when it was Claymation, it was funny. It was when it was 3D. That fucking uh, Celebrity Deathmatch show. Oh, that show fucking stuck. That show dude. did stink. That show <laughs> sucked, dude. Oh, such a gimmicky. Like, I wanted to like that show, and it just sucked. It's like South Park already makes fun of celebrities. Like, I don't need to see yeah. a fucking 23-minute, like, fight with clay about him christine aguilera versus britney spears like and then the announcers would fucking and then it would always just be gory and they'd be like pulling out her eyes and it's yeah that's so stuck dude I, <laughs> I never understood the people who were like excited about it like oh dude fucking. i don't think anyone was that's why i only lasted three seasons <laughs> and it actually only lasted two but then like they brought it back and like to, to me i'm like oh they must have brought it back because so many people like wanted to see it and then i'm like no, they probably brought it back because, like, MTV has nothing. <laughs> yeah, because that was in that weird, like, period where MTV was trying to shift into other stuff, but they still had to use, like, music stars. <laughs> so, like, they were trying to, like, get the audience to be like, hey, we're doing other things besides videos, but we're still going to, like, use those people in the videos. You know what really killed MTV? And this is, like, obvious, like, duh, but, like, dude, them not just doing music stuff. Because yes, exactly. they probably had like a high peak when not doing the music stuff with like 
real worlds and road rules and all those type of shows. But that shit can only last so f- Like, if they just kept it to music, mm. I, like, they would have never hit that, like, weird peak they hit, but they would probably still be consistently doing well. Yeah, uh, also the internet. Like, YouTube killed a lot of those networks. Yeah, that's why like I just... Like, Touch.0 like, or, like, yeah. The Soup or, like, Ridiculousness. Like, that shit would have been the biggest thing ever because they were pulling from the internet, but because the internet just outgrew it you know that's the thing why would i go watch tailored shit from rob deerdick when i could just find it myself if they could just keep like you know new music videos or whatever and then like just buy the rights to the music like now you gotta see it here you can't watch it on like youtube or something i don't know i don't Hmm. know maybe something i I mean mean, or maybe it was gonna die regardless maybe they knew yeah that's i mean they probably all sold it i don't know what tosh did but i know uh that rob like sold that show for like 200 mil I would like to see uh, another special by him. I haven't, like, I think 20. Who? Daniel Tosh. Oh. I know you don't. <laughs> another, uh, another special, he says. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know he had one. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't like him as much. but And his specials Six. aren't great. But um, I feel like so much time's gone by since his last one. I don't know. I feel like he might, like, come out with, like, a banger. You know? Like, one of those specials where, like, a comedian just doesn't give a fuck anymore. Yeah. His last special was 2016, dude. Of course, man. Like, he's like Dave Chappelle, where, like, he's known for the show. He's not known for his comedy. But I do like some of his specials, though. That's the thing. No, fair enough. I've heard some bits where I like as well. To be fair, though, my my, my favorite special that he did was completely serious. Like, that was his first, like, big special, like or actual official special. Hmm. So that was he, that was a good one. I liked it. And he then, does have really good jokes. Um, good writing. Yeah, yeah, it's, but so, yeah, I get what you're saying. I didn't he's like, like his, an Anthony Jeselnik kind of where it's like, but he's funny over the, the top Jeselnik, edgy. Though I fucking and it's the same type of like gay smarmy edgy humor though. Yeah, but I think there's like something I don't know what it is when I listen to Dan Tosh. There's something like about it that makes me like go. Oh, I don't know. There's something like there's almost like a relatability like person there where Anthony Jessel like just seems like he's just like writing bad yeah, jokes. Yeah. yeah, like he like Anthony Jessel like, seems like he has a cousin like in the industry who like got him on stage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like why are you here? Well at least Daniel it's like I, I I can see why he's here. Yeah, like completely serious there there's a joke about like fucking um above ground pool that I loved. Happy Thoughts wasn't that great of a special, but it what but one of those jokes that was well written where it's like just because like you're okay with the gays here doesn't mean they're gonna get into heaven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So don't worry, that goal line defense is up there. Like you're not getting in here, faggots. So the Jeski, just, that's a great the Jeski one. one's good. That's probably my favorite from that's him a, I've heard. I forget what that it's might like be. People, happy Thoughts, or is it people, people say that money doesn't buy happiness? Like you ever seen someone <laughs> frown on a jet ski? <laughs> <laughs> you like you can't not smile on a jet ski. <laughs> my my favorite bit from him it's is good, from People Pleaser, where he goes. 15 minutes of fame that's an average and then he starts going to the crowd zero 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 and then he points to himself 20 years and then he goes back zero 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 <laughs> it was just so honest i'm like yeah that's that's a fucking good joke yeah we gotta I do that we, we have to do that tier list dude we have to do that fucking tier list yeah it's already like quarter i feel of the like way if made. we I do that add more names I say this because I, there's a podcast idea that I still haven't done yet, but I want to do that way mm. I'll have three failed podcasts. <laughs> if we do that, or I'm sorry, if I, if I do that, right. And then we do the tier list and we make that like a once a month or once every like three month thing. Mm. We, we, we'd have, you know, there'd be four podcasts, you know, one of them's got, yeah. one of them's got to catch on, right? I mean the tier, well, the tier list thing is great because it's, it's a visual thing too. That's the best thing about a tier list. Yeah, and I feel like I've seen... It's all visual and audio, so it's like better than any of the other podcasts in that regard. And um, outside plus, of people tiers, love tier lists. People love tier lists, but outside of tier zoo, everything else is pretty mid or less. I agree. I, that's probably the only channel... I only know it because you showed me that channel, and I fucking love that Dude, channel. Dude, I watched... He had a, episode, a video the other day, like, or nah. gi- Giraffes OP. Uh, I and, hate those videos. And I still don't understand what OP means. Optimal? Overpowered. Overpowered. Ah, okay. And 
Dude, again, again, I don't know where the fuck. I've seen every animal documentary ever. Where is he getting? I've never seen these clips. I didn't, I, some of them are like actual animals dying. I'm like, I didn't even know you're allowed to show this. Like, what the I fuck? I grew up with all of the DVD. Dude, I've seen Animal every- Planet, Meerkat Manor, Discovery Channel, History Channel. Dude, the bird one, the bird tier list. I mean, I've never seen so many HD bird clips that i haven't seen but ridiculous I was, I was like does he like open so does he like pay for the like does he have like photographers and videographers like, he's go got out for the- he's got to do a porn tier list because at this point in my life oh. i feel like i've seen every fucking clip of every <laughs> porno ever you could find some shit and he can watch him find some shit like well i, I didn't know this shit existed like oh but then he won't post the source name. link source link now <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that, that reminds me. I'm on day five right now. This this other 66 day no fap thing and no sex. Jesus. And I, I got him. I was like, <laughs> I was. Ch- yeah. I'm just waking That's... up. Just like, oh. if I sleep on my stomach, like my dick hurts because it's just so hard. There's no such thing as mid anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just yeah. Looking around like, all right, hey, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Little bumpy mom ass. All right, sweet. <laughs> I was gonna try to do that. Like I was like, I'll do that alongside. I mean, like I made it like three days. I was like, ain't no way. <laughs> try for a ain't week. Ain't no actual. Way. Try for a week. Should I? I'll, I'll, Why not? I'll do a week. I'll do yeah. a week. You do a week. If you're doing sixty fucking days, I'll do a week. Sixty six. Sixty six. That's a fucking insane, dude. Yeah, but I'm actually like, I don't know. I feel like I'm. You could do it. Yeah, it's only been five. <laughs> you see, we, we come on next week. I'm just like, I killed my mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you just <laughs> pop off the fucking hinges, dude. I no, wouldn't put my, it past. My demeanor has actually been pretty mellow. Like, I think it's because if, like, the road, if, like, say something happens, like someone cuts me off or whatever, I'd be like, eh, I'm not jerking off right now. I got bigger issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not the what's thing your, that's pissing me off right now, sir. What's your release then now? Sauna. That's like the only thing I got I go left. to the sauna okay. and I'll just sit like so the, a hot tub I can stay in for like close to an hour unless they they, they actually have it at the legit time if they have it at 104 after half an hour it's getting a little hot 40 45 minutes is like top um steam room's hard but I can get up to 15 minutes but that's a little tough the sauna I can be in there for 15 to 20 minutes where it's just oh, I'm just like uh, dripping like dude I don't know what it is like I don't sweat <laughs> like pe- there's some people who will sweat like walking. Right. And I'm not mm. like one of those, but when I'm in the sauna after three minutes, oh, I dude. am just pouring sweat. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> everywhere. And I'm just like, what the, and then my, my veins and my forearms are about to burst. I'm like, what the, what am I like? I feel like I'm Hugh Jackman or something or fucking Hulk Hogan. It's crazy. Is that the one where you put the water in the thing? No sauna is the dry one where like it's all wood paneling inside. Yeah, and you put don't you put the steam in the fucking? No, nah, it's all it's like electric. So like they have like the like there's like coals, but I think they're fake coals. I think it's just electric heat. Oh, and it just pumps in uh, like yeah. So steam. Yeah, usually no, no. There's no steam. Steam. The steam's in the steam room. The sauna is a dry heat. So just imagine oh, just right. being in a hot room, like a hot box. And, okay. Um, I was in one a few years ago. It's the size of, the of like ones. maybe one or two walk-in closets. Like that's the size of it. And usually like 160 degrees is low. Once you can get to 170, 175 plus it's getting hot. I, I like I usually like it at in the 190s. I think anything hotter than that's starting to get a little too hot where like I'm only going to be in there for a little few minutes. Yeah, I like um, it so hot that like it hurts. <laughs> temperatures for sauna. So, uh, I think I did two. Uh, the last one I was in, what? I did two twenty. One fifty to one seventy five. Really, between one fifty one seventy five, most people prefer to enjoy their sauna. I like. I do like it at one seventy five, but one seventy five to one ninety is good to me. I don't. I think saunas are allowed to go hotter than that. Yeah, dude. I, I yeah, I did like two twenty. Yeah, I've seen what because Joe. I remember I listened to Joe Rogan and he was like, You have to hit that temperature to like sweat out the toxins or something. And then I had just heard that. Then I went and went with my brother and I it turned has it to, to be 220. 220. Like, that's the minimum to like sweat out all the toxins. I mean, but th- 
I don't know. Grain if you're of salt sweating, you're Joe sweating, Rogan. right? Like as long as you're sweating. Unless I'm maybe I'm wrong, but as long as you're sweating. I, I mean, I he said something about fucking. He went into the whole thing of it. You know, he does with he's like, I talked to this nutritionist, and she says the things don't break down. And I don't know if it's eh, real, but fat. I believe Who cares? it. All right, the hottest exactly. temperature on record someone can it was survive hot as fuck, <laughs> in a sauna is two. Si- no, but what's the? I don't think because I thought it was like between 160 and 220s a sauna, and then a steam room's a lot less because it's a wet heat. You usually it's like. I would say between 110 and 120. Like you don't want to go more than 121, 122 in a steam room. Asana's is, Asana is just July. <laughs> like, <laughs> like why would you? I'd rather do the dry. Oh wow, I was like an on the. Okay, so, so okay, wait here, bam. There, all right, this is where this is, and this is exactly what I looked up months ago. Saunas are typically kept at around 160 to 220 degrees, but steam rooms are cooler. They are usually around 110 to 120. And that makes sense because in a steam room, like you're literally covered because the water is just like trapping your pores and you're just covered with hot, watery mist. Mm. If, it, if that was, if it was 220 degrees and like you'd literally be like boiling alive. Where? Oh, in the sauna? In the steam I mean, room. In, if it was 220 yeah, yeah. temperature for that makes sense. boiling water. Yeah, like the temperature for boiling water is 212. If it was 220 <laughs> in the sea, like you're literally a lobster. <laughs> You'd be dead. You literally you wouldn't be able to even walk in. Your lungs would probably like be melting if you're breathing that shit in. Yeah, it probably doesn't even go that hot. No, steam room, once you get over 120, it's starting to get too much. I've been in steam rooms where they've been over 120, but only like low 120s, and I'm just like, damn. And then the cool thing about saunas, um, if you go into ones that have like two, two levels, like there's like, you can sit on one step that's lower or the higher. Yeah, step. yeah. The higher one's just so much hotter. Uh, I love it. I love. And I love the, the wood, one. how dry it is, and like the sweat just the sweat drips off you and immediately disintegrates. Oh, dude, <laughs> like, with me, I'll like I'll sit back for almost the full fifteen minutes that I'm usually in there. Then I'll lean forward and then for a couple minutes just watch this puddle of sweat forming between my feet because it's just falling off my face. Oh, uh, yes. And I'm just like, yeah. What do you go? You said 190? Yeah, usually when I'm going, it's, uh, I would say, to be f- fair, it's between 180 to 195, 196. Sometimes it's a little lower. It's in the 170s, which I don't mind. I'll just be in there longer. Mm. Should do 220. Yeah, I've never. You see, that's the thing. It, I'm I don't going, remember how long I did it, but where it was. You, it where do you go so for that? That's the thing. Are you going to like a it was personal some, like, one? resort thing? Yeah, see, I'm going to like ones that are part of gyms. They're not going to have them that high. Okay. One of the reasons they don't have them that high, well, there's safety reasons, and then there's also maintenance reasons. Like the higher it goes, the more chance it's gonna break down. Oh, true. And so, they know people will probably fuck with it. Oh yeah, there's probably like people like oh, I want like kids like, just like pushing the buttons. Like Thirteen year olds. <laughs> <laughs> and then also you don't want the nine year old with like his pacemaker walking in into a two hundred twenty. Just instant heart attack stroke. Just just, hot. <laughs> Head hits the fucking sides. <laughs> the kink, kink. <laughs> tile the third one floor. This month. Yeah, just fucking t- <laughs> no one, tile floor, fucking ceramic tile, blood dripping into the drain. It's just yeah, it, call it the Widowmaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't no take the heat. Get out of the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, there's that guy just in the corner with fucking sunglasses. Oh, so there, so there's Turn a thing, up. and I don't know if this is like. Like I got, I got pissed off the other day, and I just mm. like I muttered loudly. I was like, "Hmm, interesting." And then put my head, like, put my music back on in my headphones. Dude comes into the steam room, and you almost always. So there's like this little sensor in the steam room where if you cover it or if you put cold water on it, more steam comes out mm. <laughs> instead of it like doing it automatically. You, almost always, someone will ask, like, "Hey, do you mind if I?" And while they're like already halfway walking to that sensor. So you're not going to say no. You're going to be like, yeah. yeah. You're not going to be like, no, I'm a little bitch. Can you not make it steamy in the steam room, please? But yeah. this this guy just walks in. He, he swipes the water with his hand where he was going to sit. Because I guess like that's, oh, this has to be out of my way. And then just does the sensor thing. 
and more steam comes out and never even acknowledges that it was in there. Mm-hmm. So after that happened, after the steam stopped, I was like, huh, interesting. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> I just kept listening to music. That's what, did you say it? Yeah, I said it out loud. I was pissed. Oh my God. Dude, it's fucking like, dude, I don't fucking like this I guy. I know, but you, why just say something then? Oh, instead of being passive be aggressive? Yeah, don't be a little brat about it. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I was, part of me was like, I should have been like, hey, yeah, usually people ask to before doing that, yeah. but I, I, Even my, that's a bratty though. My level of care though, I didn't, I just didn't care yeah, to have bad. that back and forth with a guy. And naked in the steam room. You just <laughs> like, wanted him to know. <laughs> we both have our towels on. Like, I don't like. It's like all right. Sometimes you just gotta pick your battles. Like I want to like, go listen back to music. I'm gonna just mutter this and go back to my day. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like your that's like your release for the day that you enjoy that that, that you look forward to. Uh yeah, I do look forward okay. to it. I and s- see, if I'm gonna stop for a week jerking off, I, I need something to replace it. You know. Um, maybe I'll do a sauna or something. I'll get like a prostate massager. Oh, that'll that'll lead to. The- <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that 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 will do the same. That, that's that that'll, counts. Yeah, that'll do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> I feel too good. I think. I feel amazing. I'm turned gay. <laughs> I remember, like, when I was younger, my older cousin going like. Jerking off, dude. I'm at the point where I'm like, my ass is pressed up against the doorknob. <laughs> like, <laughs> he was basically saying how desensitized he is to porn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. Ah, uh, dude, some per- gay shit happened the other day to me. What? Like gay. Like, like actually gay? Yeah. Well, no, like gay little drama bullshit. Oh, uh, what? What? Um, uh, remember that girl that I was dating? Like the most recent? Yeah, the most recent one. Oh, no. Fucking cunt bag. Uh, well, no, no. She hasn't hit me up since. Oh, okay. Not even, not even a how you doing. Not even a hey, how you doing. <laughs> so she's obviously... No, that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, she again, she's probably more emotionally mature than I am. But um, I she's was... She's getting banged right now. Yeah, she, oh, 100%. 100%. She's a, she Some is, big black dude just blowing her back out. <laughs> that I wouldn't mind. I'd be like, well, I can't, you know, you can't compete, you know? But if it was like just some scrawny other white dude, I'd be like, what? <laughs> oh, that, even worse. Way worse. Just uh, some scrawny little fucking Bitcoin trader. Or just like some like dude who's like, I'm a firefighter. It's like, ah, oh, you like, suck, you douche. Crypto, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like a garbage man. <laughs> <laughs> No, garbage man. I still, it's. It, I don't want it to be like. Uh, I, you know, I'm an accountant. And like, oh, you suck. Uh, I'm a lawyer. Uh, but no. So, our mutual friend, she's having a birthday come up. So she makes a group oh, chat. No. I know. Yeah, she makes a group <laughs> chat where there's like six or seven people, and then lo and behold, so and so's in it. So. She's like, hey, having a birthday. This is where it is. You know, you I'm- just see your little chat bubble with the dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, she instantly replied, by the way. And I'm just like, oh, wow. I guess her phone hasn't been broken for three dot, weeks. Dot, 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 dot. I guess yeah. I could throw away that possibility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And, Sorry. Keep going. And, she, and um, everyone RSVP'd in the chat, including her. And I was the only one that didn't say anything. Because in my head, I'm like, I don't want to go to this now. I just don't want to be in that... I don't want to be in that fucking. And I know this is a gay thing. This is like just one of those like gay. Like this is like this is fake drama. Like this isn't real mm. life shit. But it's like part of me kind of wants to go because you know like my friend it's her birthday and everything. But obviously the other parts like I don't want to be in the same fucking room as this bitch. Fuck that shit. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that word to her about her. But fucking a. Jesus. <laughs> I know. Well, I don't. I don't want to be. I don't want to be mean. She didn't do like anything really that. No, wrong. I know. I know. But I feel you. Fucking you, cunt. Yeah, a little fucking whore. I cunt, cunt's a, yeah, cunt's a better word. Whore is a good word. Cunt. I don't like bitch. I don't like calling a girl a bitch. I hate that word. Bitch is too, it's, yeah. It's too. It's mean. Doesn't it feel it's mean? Bitch. It's just bitch, dude. It's it's too violent of a word. Yeah, dude. Stay on Louis C.K.'s, but cunt's just like chocolatey and round Ch- on the edges. Cunt's cr- I'll call her a kike. She's not even Jewish, but I'm not calling her a bitch. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's broad. Yeah, bro, yeah this bro, broad's a great one. But yeah, uh, I'm in that category. I don't blame you. I, I, my boy, uh, I don't blame you though. If if it's gonna be a bad time, don't go. You know. 
Yeah, I just don't want it. Oh, Why would you want to have a bad She time? goes there with like some dude she's banging. I'm like... Oh, she, yeah, and she's going to pretend like everything's fucking fine and dandy and you have to be like sulking in the corner. <laughs> yeah, I don't want... That's the thing. I just don't <laughs> want... She's like twerking on the counter. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be fake. <laughs> like the reality is I just don't, don't want to go. Maybe it'll change because it, it is like a month from now. But oh yeah, you might feel better in a month. But right now, I don't want to go. Maybe you'll bring. A, uh, why does my voice keep fucking? Um, yeah, I, I keep, gay. yeah, dude. That's like the third. Okay. Fourth time. <laughs> I actually see my friend, the one who has the birthday coming up. I see her tomorrow, so like, I might ask her and be like, "Yo, can we bring a place plus one?" And then I'll bring a girl, and yeah, then I'll be just, the vindictive guy. <laughs> just bring some fucking fat. No, I, no, no, no. <laughs> not well, you can't you can't bring a good one because you, you're on your because you're doing your fucking sixty days, brother. <laughs> True, but I can still bring a girl. Doesn't mean I can let uh, her know that I'm doing the sixty six days thing. Where they smoke this fire, you know? No, nah, dude, you <laughs> gotta be able to control yourself. I don't know, <laughs> which I have not been able to do in my life because <laughs> I I have tried that before when I was younger, where I was like, let me go a month. Remember, I told you that story where like three weeks in, like this big girl. From yeah, like of course. Tinder came over and I'm just like, all right, so we <laughs> I was just going down on her. I'm like, all right, cause, so we're going to fuck, right? Because I, <laughs> I can't hold it. I had recently, a, a, it's a very different situation, but it was a group chat we were in and the dude invited his girlfriend. What do you mean? Like he invited his girlfriend into the chat that had oh, been a group chat for like years. And it's like a guy group chat? Yeah. I mean, there is one girl in it, but she's not a girl. She's that like anyone's. a friend guy. She's like a, a friend. No one's interested. She's an unattractive woman that just happens to have a good sense of humor. That's like, she's one of the guys. How dare he? Yeah, isn't that? Dude, I, but I feel like the douche. No, no, you're for, not. For, you're not. But I'm like, am I? I'm starting to be like, am I crazy? But in my head, I'm like, you don't do that. Well, how about this? This is a sacred did, did group he, chat. Did he like go, hey, is it okay if I invite my girl into this to anyone? Yeah. Oh, uh, you, you, then you might be the douche. Well, I didn't say it. I was just like, sure, man. <laughs> but like, what am I? It's kind of like what you're saying. Like, what am I going to say? Like, well, you could be no. like, are you okay with her seeing all those past messages? I didn't give a fuck about that. No, but for it does him. change it. Oh, true, true. Yeah. Does he not like just, talk the way you talk? No, he does. But it just changes the dynamic, you know? Yeah. And then he invited another friend who I just don't like. I haven't talked to him in oh, years. Oh, jeez. I, <laughs> I know, dude. It sucks. And then they're like, we created a Discord server. Why haven't you joined? And oh, I'm just like, my God. Oh, I don't like Discord. Just why? You know what would have been a great uh, olive branch? Just mm. him making a new group chat with all you guys in it. That way you still yeah. have the old one. Yeah, that if, would, I, if I had the gall, I'd do that. <laughs> you make Just a new like one OGs. with the, <laughs> you call it OGs. Yeah, people that matter. <laughs> the revival. This is just old. This the is, group chat did die though. He as, killed it. Yeah, I can see that. Would you ever do that? What? Am I the crazy one? Would you ever invite your girl into a a guy group chat? That part I don't care about. It's more so the dynamic where like. The one girl is just a friend, so she's okay. It's cool. It's whatever. It's like this is this guy's girlfriend, you know. So like, it, you might feel like weird going like, "Yo, Tony, remember three years back <laughs> yeah. where those like six girls with the hepatitis were sucking your dick? <laughs> like, you, you remember the screen? Grade? Here's the photo I got. Like that. That might be hard. It's like to my mom's in here. <laughs> yeah, you might second. Yeah, exactly. Like your mom's also a girl, but it's your mom. That's not the. That's not the factor. Like if your dad was in there, it would feel a little bit weird too. Yeah, of course. Not as much, but it would feel a little bit weird. It'd feel weird. If my dad was weird. in the group chat. <laughs> yeah, like your fucking, I don't know, your college professor is in there. So I don't fucking, <laughs> yeah, like it's going to be weird. It's a no, no. It's a no, no. But yeah. But, I, thought, uh, I thought we were only going to do an hour today. Yeah, that was my bad, dude, about yesterday. I'm sorry about that. That was Dude, I love I, the fact where it's like, uh, yeah, dude, I'm gonna be an hour late. Yeah. <laughs> hour? The balls. There, there was there wasn't even any like saving it or I was just like this is on me, I'm retarded. I'm, I'm not even gonna be, be an home hour until late. six. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
It's not even like I might be able. I'm like, no, like I'm not even leaving yet. And it's almost. And what's funny is that like you knew that you had to say an hour because like we scheduled for 515 (laughs) and in your head, you're like, I'm not going to be home till six. But you knew. Well, that doesn't mean I'm going to hop right on the podcast right when I get up. <laughs> I'm going to put my stuff away. I'm going to take a shit. I'm going to get a well, snack. Thing, like, so let me tell him at least an hour. <laughs> I was going to say, like, all right, I'll be home in a half hour, like 530, which isn't that bad. It's like 15 minutes late. But I'm like, I have to get gas. I have to eat dinner. I have to shout. I'm like, there's just no way. The podcast you know? is not taking priority. <laughs> yeah. Are but you it, back to mowing like a ton of lawns now because it's getting hotter out? Yeah, yeah. We're working, but... It, the thing is, is I agreed to it because I was. We usually don't work till that late. Like we at five fifteen, I can easily make like all the other days of the week. It's just that one day we happen to just stay late on, uh, on a job. Just that one day, huh? Just that one fucking. That's my I luck. Think dude. you know a guy? But it's still I shouldn't agree to five fifteen because that can happen. Uh, we know? should five five the the Sunday. First off, the sun the Sunday was the worst. Yeah, that dude. It would, you were watching 18 games. I was that, like, playing a video game. Like, I, what the I, fuck like, what are we doing? Sunday, I think Mondays and Tuesdays <laughs> are the best to do these. Yeah. Sunday is a weird day. Sunday is like, you're just trying to like fucking relax. We only ever did it because of Ed. When, what was the day of TNP? Wasn't it like Monday it was at 30 or a oh, Friday? It started on Fridays at like... Seven or something crazy. The like goal eight, maybe. that we thought, and, the, and the, the fact that we took Duel oh. and said, "Hey, you gotta produce this for." <laughs> Actually, to be fair, that's not true because he just kept saying, "I'll do it for you," and then hated it. It's like, dude, just tell us no. Just tell us no. Don't even get me started. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get me started, dude. Didn't upload it till fucking three days later, dude. It takes fucking five minutes. I knew what made you the, the, the maddest, though. I knew what made you the maddest. The, the maddest you ever got at him was when we were like saying, "Yo, look up the video. How can you? How did you not find?" It? He's like, "I'm looking." He's like, "And you're just like, look it up on YouTube." He's like, "I'm looking it up on Google. It's the same thing." I knew <laughs> oh, right yeah. there that you were ready to throw him out the fucking house. <laughs> like that that gif where like. The SpongeBob fish is looking at the phone. Like that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Hold on, for stop the presses." <laughs> he doesn't even know how to fucking look shit up. No, he's looking it up on Google Video instead of YouTube. It's like it's the same thing. It's not the same thing, Duel. It's not. You, you, no, you know what the the thing for me was. It because I could deal with all the bullshit, and uh, by the way, I'm not talking to shit. I, I've said this to him and I'll say it again. It's not like I'm. this is anything I haven't said to him, but it was when he started playing the fucking noises. Oh, uh, the drops, the like the cliche drops. Yes, but they were only on his end. So when we were recording, we didn't know. And then I'd listen back and there's these loud fucking explosions and like knocking and shit. And I was like, dude, okay. First I don't off, remember that. Jesus. He's like, this is legit like fucking with the audio of this. And he's like doing it behind as like a prank, like not telling us. He's, I was like, I got actually mad. I was like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You're like actually like sabotaging the audio. This, this is point. an this is an important thing we're doing here, man. Not that. It's just like you, it's just like wa- working at the office and you start throwing coffee cups around. It's like, dude, like if you don't want to do this and like just quit. <laughs> like why are you um why are I, you burning us down? But anyway, dude, I'd love to talk more. But I have to take like there's literally shit coming out of my like pants right now. Like, I <laughs> also, take, I love Duel by the way. I love Duel too. <laughs> I don't want to end on that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Duel sucks. I gotta take a shit. See you next week. I'm like week. Duel sucks. You're like, all right. Well, I'm gonna go. <laughs> well, fuck you, dude. You, but no, I, shit I gotta take a shit. I really do. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, all right. I'll talk to you. Well, probably next week, Monday or Tuesday. All right. I'm gonna fin- I'm gonna finish that uh, tier thing. This comedy one. All right. I, well, so it'll be on the back burner. Well, now the shit's all over the place. All right. I'll talk all to right. you. Peace.